Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Man in Marvel, thank you Supreme Doomsday. Chapter 81. Su Yi is here again. The moment the news appeared with the sound of the siren. Everyone in Academy X immediately started various preparations. In order to prevent Su Yi's arrival, they conducted a lot of drills. Just for this scene, regarding this, Su Yi couldn't laugh or cry for a while. I'm not here to fight this time, I'm here to talk to Professor X about something. When Phoenix Girl heard Su Yi's words, she was even more startled. She stood directly in front of Su Yi, I will never let you go to Professor X. Come to me if you have any ideas. Su Yi looked up and down at the Phoenix Girl in front of him, and said, You have a good figure and good looks, but I haven't got a deep understanding of you, and I don't know how you are. Cyclops was furious when he heard Su Yi's words, You fool. Don't bully people too much. Su Yi waved his hand casually, and then said loudly to the depths of X Academy, Professor X, I know you can hear that I don't have any hostility when I come here this time, I just want someone to do me a favor. Of course, I'm very reasonable. I won't let you work for nothing. I'll give you a salary. When the time comes, you can continue to build the academy. What a good thing it is. Everyone could hear Su Yi's words. It's just that when I heard Su Yi say that he was very reasonable, Phoenix girl almost rolled her eyes. But she remembered that Su Yi said three years ago, the bigger the fist is, the more reasonable it is. It seemed that Su Yi's words had an effect. I only saw Wolverine walking out with Professor X. Professor X had a smile on his face and looked very kind. Tell me, what exactly do you want to do when you come to the academy this time? Seeing the Lord's appearance, Su Yi looked at Wolverine next to him. I want Wolverine to work at my place for about a month, and leave when he's done, it's convenient and fast. After hearing Su Yi's words, Professor X breathed a sigh of relief. As long as you don't come here to fight. He was really scared of this guy in front of him. I respect Wolverine's choice, if he agrees to it, I have no problem. After hearing Professor X's words, Wolverine shook his head and said, I. Wolverine opened his mouth, ready to subconsciously refuse but he suddenly remembered what had happened before. It's not that he hasn't fought Su Yi before. But at that time, he was pressed to the ground by Su Yi and tortured in blood. If it weren't for my strong physique, I guess I would be completely cold. To prevent this from happening again, Wolverine swallowed the words of refusal. Looking at Su Yi in front of him, he said, well, it's just that outside of work, I think I have other time that I can control. No problem. Except for working time, you can use other time as you like. You can rest on Saturdays and Sundays, and you will have money when you are done. Wolverine nodded slightly, and then looked at Su Yi in disbelief. As if wondering, is Su Yi who is so easygoing in front of him really the violent Su Yi from before? After discussing these matters, Su Yi took Wolverine directly and left the academy. Only the people were left there looking at each other. At this time, Phoenix Girl looked at Professor X next to her, and said, this guy seems to be a little different from before. Cyclops heard Phoenix Girl's words, and said indignantly, what's different, isn't it still the same? Maybe as long as we reject him, he will just go berserk. Professor X shone with an inexplicable light. From his observation, it seemed that the hostility on Su Yi's body had really disappeared. And the whole person became more calm. Not as crazy and irritable as before. Thinking of this, Professor X said slowly, perhaps, he has really changed. Dash, through the Rubik's Cube, Su Yi directly brought Wolverine to Tony Stark's room. After exhorting them a few words, Su Yi left the room directly. Get out of Stark Industries. Su Yi took out his phone and called Nick Fury. Soon, the phone was connected, and Nick Fury's voice came from the phone. Su Yi, what do you want from me? Nick Fury is very nervous now. Thinking of him as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., he would feel nervous because of a phone call. Tell the agents below, they can't believe it. Only Su Yi's voice was heard from the other side of the phone. Nick Fury, remember what happened to the Hulk before? Nick Fury heard Su Yi's words, and immediately said, Tell me, what is the price? In this regard, Nick Fury said that he is already familiar with it. It's very simple, I'm here to ask for money and materials. Money and materials, yes, it's money and materials. You send someone to Tony Stark. 
he has the final say on how much you want. As for the materials, it's vibration gold. I want all the vibration gold reserves of shield. Is that clear? Yes, that's the way to settle the matter. When Nick Fury heard this, his expression was a little tangled. If it's just money, then he doesn't care at all. SHIELD is an organization jointly established by several countries. In terms of small money, Nick Fury is not worried at all. Even, if you really want to say who spends the most money. That's definitely Nick Fury himself. Just the funds he spent building the arsenals in various places are enough for SHIELD to operate for several years. But vibration gold resources, even for SHIELD, are very scarce. So far, they have only collected a very small part of the world. If you really want to hand over all of them, it is absolutely impossible. Just when Nick Fury was hesitating, Su Yi yawned and said, Speaking of Nick Fury, I miss Hulk a little bit, why don't you arrange for the two of us to meet? Threat. This is definitely a threat. If Su Yi and the Hulk are really allowed to meet, then there will definitely be a fight. With this in mind, Nick Fury didn't hesitate. I only heard him say very simply, Isn't it just Zhenjin? I'll give it. After saying this, Nick Fury suddenly thought of what Pierce had said to himself. With the idea of being on the safe side, Nick Fury said to Su Yi, By the way, Su Yi, is there a girl named Hannah next to you? It seems that a force has been eyeing her recently. I am investigating this matter, but you have to be more on guard. Really, I see. After speaking, the two hung up the phone. Nick Fury breathed a sigh of relief. Anyway, now that he said it, it doesn't matter whether Pierce will secretly carry himself behind his back and make that kind of behavior. At least the blame is not on me anymore. There is no way, whoever was scared by General Ross before. After Su Yi got the news, he suddenly remembered that he hadn't been to school for a long time. Why don't you pick Hannah up from school today? Thinking of this, Su Yi asked Jin He to arrange a car, and after coming to pick up Su Yi, he drove towards the school. At the same time, Pierce also started his own actions. After arriving at the hospital, Su Yi asked the driver to stop the car at the gate not far from the school. Then he waited here for Hannah's appearance. Just as Su Yi was yawning, he was leisurely listening to music in the car. But he saw Peter Parker and Thompson walking out of the school gate together. As soon as Su knew Thompson, he knew that he and Peter Parker were not against each other. Even, Thompson often bullied Peter Parker, so that Peter Parker avoided Thompson when he was in school. But now, the two walked out of the school together. No matter how you look at it, it feels very weird. Peter Parker's expression was a little stagnant. He looked at Thompson next to him, hugged his shoulders like a buddy, and clenched his fists unconsciously. Thompson, what exactly are you trying to do? What are you doing? I'm not looking at your good buddy. I haven't come here recently, so I want to be a good buddy with you. As he spoke, Thompson threw Peter Parker's school bag directly on the grass next to him. Hey, what are you doing? Peter Parker wants to get his school bag back. But he was pulled down abruptly by Thompson. I only saw Thompson, took out a basketball from his sports bag, threatened Peter Parker, and said to Peter Parker, Let's go, little Parker, let's go to the basketball court to play basketball, and we will graduate soon, I want to learn more from you before graduation. Hearing Thompson's words, Peter Parker's expression changed instantly. He knew what Thompson meant by sparring. That is absolutely violent basketball. He was often bullied by Thompson in school, and he was bullied no less than 20 times just using basketball as an excuse. That is to say, after Su Yi transferred to another school, Thompson stopped his current actions. But what I didn't expect was that now Thompson was staring at himself again. Peter Parker only felt very desperate in his heart. Because I am too weak, there is no way to resist the muscular Thompson. And if you resist, the people around you will definitely notice this scene. At that time, I estimate that I will be paid more attention. Doing so is undoubtedly the most humiliating. Thinking of this, Peter Parker looked at Thompson with a smirk in front of him, stretched out his slightly trembling hands, and took the basketball in Thompson's hand. Seeing this scene, Thompson smiled. That's right, let's go play basketball. When Thompson said, fight, his tone was a little more serious. So much so that Peter Parker's body trembled subconsciously. Feel the power coming from your shoulders. Peter Parker looked unwillingly at the school bag that was thrown beside him, 
the hand on the basketball was tightly clenched on his arm, and his veins were faintly bulging. And just when Peter Parker was about to leave, Suyi got out of the car. He looked at the fateful meeting in front of him, and the corners of his mouth rose slightly. Who would have thought that the future Spider-Man and Agent Venom would get along like this? It's just that Peter Parker helped him with a lot of things in school. Although he didn't need it, it was more or less helpful. So I'd better help Peter Parker in front of me. Otherwise, Peter Parker in front of him might feel wronged and cry. Su Yi slowly walked towards Thompson and Peter Parker. Peter Parker was the first to notice Su Yi. When Peter Parker saw Su Yi coming, his eyes lit up. Thompson also noticed Peter Parker's gaze, and followed Peter Parker's gaze to look at Su Yi who was walking towards them. Thompson's heart sank suddenly. For this guy in front of him, Thompson felt a little wary. There is no way, Su Yi, a transfer student, is too weird. I still remember back then, when I just glanced at Su Yi's eyes, I felt my body was icy cold. This made him very angry afterward. He watched Su Yi come to the grass, bent down and picked up the school bag on the ground. Then came to Peter Parker and Thompson. All I saw was Su Yi stretching out his palm and directly grabbing the basketball in his hand. Handing the school bag to Peter Parker, he said, Parker, even if you want to play basketball again, you can't let go of the school bag. Su Yi's words obviously took care of Peter Parker's face. For a man, perhaps the most important thing is face. Afterwards, Su Yi turned to look at Thompson next to him, and smiled at Thompson, seeing how you guys like basketball so much, it makes me want to play it too. While speaking, the basketball in Su Yi's hand was already spinning on his fingertips. It looked so relaxed and comfortable. A look of fear flashed in Thompson's eyes. He looked at Su Yi in front of him, and looked him up and down. No matter how you look at it, it looks like an ordinary person. At most, he is a little richer. How did I get scared by this person in front of me in the first place? Thinking of this, Thompson only felt more and more annoyed in his heart. Immediately, he looked at Su Yi in front of him and said, Okay, I just want to tell you in advance that I am the captain of the school's basketball team. If you lose, don't blame me. A calm smile appeared on Su Yi's face, I'll be very scared if you say that. This guy, Thompson looked at Su Yi in front of him, there was no fluctuation at all, but a smirk on his face. I just feel like a raging flame is ignited in my heart. He even said secretly in his heart, wait for me and see how I abuse you then. Thinking of this, Thompson showed a cruel smile on his face. Immediately, everyone came to the next basketball court. There are a lot of people playing basketball here. It's just that when Thompson came here, he immediately roared, you all get out of here, I want this basketball court. As a school bully, Thompson, many people dare not provoke this guy. Without cursing inwardly, he left the basketball court with a smile on his face. Freed up the basketball court. At this moment, only Su Yi, Thompson and Peter Parker were left in the basketball court. Many people gathered around because of this. This made Peter Parker feel a little depressed. Su Yi, why don't we leave? Parker, sometimes you have to face it, otherwise, all that's left is regret. Having said that, Su Yi stretched out the basketball on his palm with a smile, signaling Thompson to start first. Seeing this, Thompson had a smug smile on his face. He felt that this was Su Yi's showing weakness, and he wanted to let him release more water. But is it possible? This is absolutely impossible. Not only will he not be humble, but he will also abuse him to death. Thinking of this, Thompson stretched out his hand and took the basketball. Only at this moment, Thompson's expression changed. Because he found that he couldn't hold the basketball in Su Yi's hand. How is this going? Thompson was visibly taken aback. He wondered if this was his own illusion. Thinking of this, Thompson took a deep breath, and then yanked it. But the basketball doesn't move. It can even be said to be completely motionless. How can that be? Thompson murmured. He couldn't believe it. Looking at Su Yi in front of him, he felt shocked. More and more people gathered around. They obviously also noticed the weirdness now. They whispered to each other. What's the situation? Could it be that Thompson is teasing Su? Thompson's character is really bad. Is this a plan to humiliate Su Yi severely? That guy Su Yi is really pitiful, to be targeted by the school bully Thompson. 
The whispers around fell into Su Yi's ears. But Su Yi didn't care, instead he challenged Thompson in front of him, what's wrong? Why didn't you grab this basketball? Or is it because you don't have the ability? Thompson looked at the smile on the corner of Su Yi's mouth, and his expression became incomparably frozen. Give me the basketball, Thompson cursed, only to see his muscles constantly congested and bulging. The momentum of the whole person became violent. Holding the basketball with both hands, he used all his strength. The basketball in Su Yi's hand can also be said to be motionless. You fool, how on earth did you do it? Gritting his teeth, Thompson said to Su Yi in front of him. Thompson only felt that Su Yi was playing tricks here. Regarding this, Su Yi just smiled and loosened his palm suddenly. The basketball was instantly liberated in Su Yi's hands. All I saw was Thompson lying down towards the back. The whole person stretched his teeth and danced his claws, with his feet on all fours, looking really embarrassed. The people around who saw this scene in front of them knew that Thompson's character was extremely bad. But still couldn't help laughing out loud. Even Peter Parker had a little smile on his face. Most of the previous fear of Thompson had dissipated with Su Yi's deliberate help. At this time, Su Yi seemed to have just realized, Ah, you have quite a lot of strength, but you took it away. However, when Su Yi uttered these words, the extremely beating expression and playful voice paired with it instantly ignited the anger in Thompson's heart. I saw Thompson getting up from the ground neatly. In Thompson's hands, the basketball seemed to have become a part of Thompson's body. Thompson is very comfortable in his own hands. He wants to wash away his shame with basketball. Thinking of this, Thompson took a deep breath and made a quick attack towards the basket. As the captain of the campus basketball team, he once led other members of the school to win many games. Especially in the college league, he is very beautiful. Anyone who played basketball in school basically knew Thompson. And Thompson's strength is indeed very strong. He only saw Su Yi who quickly bypassed and stood in front of him casually, with a look of cruelty on his face. Immediately afterwards, exclamations sounded from all around. This makes Thompson feel even more proud. Let me see, what is the god of basketball? Thompson roared frantically in his heart. I only saw Thompson jumping high at this time, stretching his arms back, and then exerting force. The arm draws an arc in the air. Tomahawk dunk. Bang. As if to prove his strength, Thompson pulled the basket hard with his palm. I want to show my mighty strength. However, at this moment, Thompson was completely stunned. He looked at the basket in disbelief. He suddenly discovered that the ball didn't seem to be in his hands. What about the ball? The idea crossed Thompson's mind. After he landed, he subconsciously turned to the side. All I saw was Su Yi yawning there, and the basketball spun quickly at Su Yi's fingertips. The sleepiness on his face was like Sus mocking him. Hateful. When? I didn't notice it at all. A series of thoughts flashed through Thompson's mind. Most importantly, he didn't realize at all, when did Su Yi make the move? Suddenly, a thought caught Thompson in an instant. Could it be that time? Did he just bypass Su Yi when exclamations sounded around him? Thompson originally thought it was the people around him, amazed at his skills. But he never expected that he would be amazed by Su Yi's actions. Shame, this is an absolute disgrace. Thompson was very unwilling to roar in his heart. He will never be careless this time. He wanted to show Su Yi how powerful his defensive skills were. Thinking of this, Thompson has already stood in his own position. There was unprecedented seriousness in his eyes. This scene fell into the eyes of the people around. They can also feel Thompson's seriousness. Thompson is serious. Although this guy has a bad personality, his basketball skills are really good. You know, Thompson is a basketball genius, a once in 9,000 year genius. Please, once in 9,000 years, are you planning to laugh at me to death? But it also shows how good Thompson is, doesn't it? I heard that as long as he graduates, he can directly enter the NBA to play. Su Yi heard the praise from the people around him, and said with a smile, I didn't expect you to be so powerful. Stop talking nonsense, if you want to attack, attack quickly, and I will definitely defend you. Oh, then I'll attack. After speaking, Su Yi dribbled the basketball and walked slowly towards Thompson. That defenseless look seemed to be humiliating Thompson. At least Thompson thought so himself. You fool, don't underestimate me. 
Thompson gritted his teeth. I saw him take a step forward and hook his palm towards the basketball. But at this moment, Su Yi's voice disappeared. Followed by. Su Yi jumped up high, stretched his arms backwards, and exerted all his strength. The arm draws an arc in the air. Tomahawk dunk. Bang. Just like Thompson's action just now. Su Yi directly dunked the basketball into the basket. As Su Yi's figure fell, the basketball hoop was also completely shattered at this time. Hey, I'll send someone over to deliver a basketball hoop, and Thompson, don't let me see you bullying the younger again. Su Yi turned his back to Thompson who was beyond shocked, waved his hand casually, and walked out of the court. Everyone subconsciously made way for Su Yi. And at this moment, Hannah left the teaching building. Like a baby swallow returning to its nest, it ran towards Su Xiao. All of a sudden, she threw herself into Su Yi's arms. The whole person squeezed fiercely into Su Yi's arms, sniffing the smell of Su Yi's body fiercely. Hannah's sweet voice drifted into everyone's ears, Su Yi, you actually came to pick me up today. Well, I'm here to pick you up, let's go, I'll take you home. After finishing speaking, Su Yi put his arms around the beautiful school bell Hannah and walked towards his luxury car. Only the envious eyes of those around the audience remained. They all had an idea in their minds, as this TM the winner in life. Su Yi came to the car with Hannah in his arms. The luxury car started slowly, and the surrounding scenery was constantly moving backwards. Hannah enjoyed the idyllic time. Suddenly, her cell phone rang. Hannah looked slightly surprised when she saw the caller ID of her mobile phone. What are her parents doing calling her at this time? Thinking of this, Hannah answered the phone in front of Su Yi without any hesitation. Mom, is something wrong? Hannah, if you are free today, come back early, I have prepared something delicious for you. When Su Yi heard Hannah's mother speak, her voice seemed to be very nervous and trembled slightly. Thinking of what Nick Fury had said to him, the corners of Su Yi's mouth rose slightly, but there was no smile on his face. Instead, bursts of coldness emanated from his body. Anyone who dared to pay attention and hit himself and the people around him, he would not let them go easily. Immediately, Su Yi nodded slightly to Hannah beside her. Hannah obviously also noticed the change in Su Yi. Immediately afterwards, she was keenly aware that her mother seemed a little weird. But with Su Yi beside her, Hannah quickly calmed down. She said to her mother, Okay, I'll take a taxi back and be there soon. After speaking, Hannah hung up the phone. Su Yi, I feel that something is wrong with my mother. It doesn't matter, as long as I'm here, you can go there without worry. Besides, don't forget that you still have Gios. Hannah nodded slightly, and then took off her colored contact lenses, revealing the bird-like red pattern inside. Dash, soon, Su Yi and Hannah came downstairs. Su Yi used the power of the phantom fruit to integrate himself with the surrounding environment. And Hannah walked towards her home. This scene was monitored by people sent by Pierce. The target has entered the building. Target has taken the elevator to the floor. The target has entered the room, immediately and circle it. In the entire building, Su Yi could hear the continuous sound of footsteps clearly. It seems that they did not attack Hannah, but chose Hannah's parents to attack, so as to achieve the purpose of controlling Hannah. Su Yi thought in his mind. Follow Hannah into the room. Hannah saw her parents being controlled on the sofa. Those guys around are all fully armed. The black muzzle of the gun was aimed at Hannah's parents, causing Hannah's expression to change suddenly. Who are you guys? You still haven't let go of my parents. Hannah clenched her catkins angrily, staring at the agent in front of her as if she was about to kill someone. One of the agents who looked like a command came to Hannah and said to Hannah, Don't be nervous, we just came here to discuss something with you. After hearing the agent's words, Hannah frowned slightly, without weakening her momentum at all, is this the way you discuss things? Hurry up and put the gun down from my parents' heads. Hannah, Hannah's parents were very worried, looking at their daughter. They really didn't want Hannah coming if they could. However, facing the worried gaze of her parents, Hannah shook her head slightly, then comforted her parents and said, It's okay, mom and dad, with me here, I will never let you have trouble. After Hannah finished speaking, she looked at the agent in front of her and said to the agent, Hurry up and put down the gun. The agent feels a bit of a headache. Usually when they do this kind of work, 
the target person usually kneels down and begs for mercy. Why is this woman so arrogant? Or is it that the woman in front of me has a big heart and doesn't know how to write dead? But the above also ordered, try not to hurt Hannah as much as possible. Immediately, the agent made a gesture, and the surrounding agents put down their guns aimed at Hannah's parents. It's just that his eyes are still very vigilant, watching Hannah's parents in front of him. Seeing this scene, Hannah sat on her sofa domineeringly, looked at the agent in front of her and said, Tell me, who sent you here? This is what Hannah learned from Hela. You must know that Hela's queen aura is very powerful. Even if Hannah doesn't look alike, she still has a three-point look. It is better to let the agent not know how to speak for a while. But soon, the agent reflected. He said coldly to Hannah, Please don't make a mistake. If you don't want to follow our arrangement, then we don't mind killing your parents. Hannah was not afraid at all at this time, she looked at the agent in front of her with cold eyes, and said, As long as you dare to move, believe it or not, I will kill you with my eyes. Hannah's parents looked at Hannah in front of them, and felt that something had happened to their daughter that even they didn't know about. And Su Yi was at the side, watching this dramatic scene with a smile. He even secretly drank the happy water by the side secretly. He didn't expect that Hannah would be so imposing. It's completely different from the girl who could only scream when she was in crisis. It can be said that during this period of time, Hannah has undergone an unprecedented transformation. Maybe this is the change brought about by strength. For such Hannah, Su Yi expresses love and love. The agent obviously didn't expect that Hannah was actually a hard stubble. Although it says that Hannah cannot be moved. But that doesn't mean you can't touch Hannah's parents. There are also killing people with their eyes, it's like a fairy tale, it's hard to make people laugh. Immediately, the agent said to an agent next to him, kill her father first. Hearing these words, Su Yi's figure came to Hannah's parents and knocked Hannah's parents unconscious. At this moment, Hannah turned to look at the agent next to her. As long as Hannah can see the agent's eyes, she can use her abilities. All I saw was a red flying bird, waving its wings, and it went straight into the eyes of the agent. For a moment, there was no warning. The agent rolled his eyes and fell to the ground. At this time, Su Yi used the magnetic field to control Hannah's parents and returned to the room. When they wake up, just treat it as a nightmare. At this time, the agent said that he was confused. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? But in the final analysis, an agent is still an agent, and his strong professionalism immediately reflected it subconsciously in his body. The gun was pulled out instantly, aiming at Hannah in front of her. But at this moment, Hannah looked at the agent leader in front of her. The red flying bird fell into the eyes of the agent. In the blink of an eye, the agent felt as if a nuclear bomb had exploded in his mind. The powerful power caused the agent to die directly on the spot. Didn't even respond. At this time, Su Yi withdrew his phantom fruit ability. The figure was exposed in the room. Activate the magnetic field. In a very short moment, Su Yi controlled all the agents in the room and placed them in front of Hannah. Hannah took a deep breath. She looked at the agent in front of her, only heard her whisper, explode. Following Hannah's voice fell, only the red flying bird pattern was seen, dancing in the air, flying towards the eyes of many agents. And the abnormal noise in the room attracted the agents who had just surrounded the door. The abnormal noise in the room alarmed the agents outside. Bang! Without any hesitation, they pushed the door through the corridor and walked in. However, the moment they entered the room, the scene in front of them was like an electric drill, shocking their nerves. They only saw the room without the slightest mess. But in their impression, the powerful agent leader was lying on the ground. Lying on the ground with him, there are other agents. They all seem to be dead. You fool, what did you do? The first agent who came in was a little broken. He subconsciously picked up the gun on his body and pointed it at Hannah in front of him. A strong sense of death weighed on Hannah's body. Let Hannah's eyes uncontrollably display their abilities. The red flying birds became more and more colorful at this time. The delicate and charming birds pierced into the agent's mind one by one. It was as if nuclear bombs had been dropped one after another in the agent's mind. Instantly detonated their spirits. In the blink of an eye, all the agents who came to carry out the mission were completely solved by Hannah alone. Seeing this scene in front of her, 
Hannah said subconsciously, how come, did my ability go berserk? Having said that, Hannah turned to Su Yi beside her. Want to find Su Yi's affirmation. But at this moment, a bird flew towards Su Yi. It made Hannah's spirit tremble suddenly, and a strong sense of regret permeated her heart. Hearing Hannah's shock, her face turned, Shua, and she became very pale. As Su Yi slowly closed his eyes, Hannah's heart sank completely into the abyss. The strong mental stimulation completely broke Hannah's heart. Pain surrounded Hannah. At this time, the blood-red flying bird appeared in another eye pupil. Gi is awakened. It evolved directly from the edge of out of control, and completely stabilized. But Hannah didn't care about any of this at all. A strong sense of self-blame broke Hannah. She rushed in front of Su Yi, hugged Su Yi's body tightly, and said to Su Yi, Su Yi, are you okay? Su Yi. Hannah kept repeating the name, Su Yi. Suddenly, Hannah only felt that her back was covered by two big hands. Immediately, Hannah looked up at Su Yi in front of her. Only seeing Su Yi slowly opened his eyes at this moment. I have to say, Hannah, your ability is a bit too domineering. If you increase your physical strength, from a certain point of view, you can be considered both offensive and defensive. Su Yi had died in Hannah's mental explosion before. It also awakened the spiritual barrier, which could counteract Hannah's spiritual explosion, otherwise, Su Yi estimated that he would die again. After comforting Hannah, Su said to Hannah, Hannah, your parents should wake up in a while, you can live normally, and then tell them this is a nightmare, as for these guys, just leave it to me to deal with. Hannah nodded vigorously. It's just that, holding Su Yi's arm, he exerted a little more force. Tears unconsciously wet Su Yi's chest, rubbing Hannah's hair lovingly. Su Yi used the magnetic field to suspend many agents in the air. Then used the ability of the phantom fruit to integrate it with the surrounding environment. With the corpses of many agents, Su Yi flew towards Shield. While slowly flying towards Shield, Su Yi then entered the water group in the chat group. Swarms of water have become a habit of Su Yi. Group leader Su Yi enters the chat group. With the group owner's special notification sound, when it appears in the chat group, the people who were chatting suddenly became more active. Hanada Hanada. Brother Su Yi, I haven't seen you for a long time, when will I be able to see you? Hanada Hanada. Crying. JPG. CC. Ha 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 ha. Xiao Hanada, if Su Yi doesn't look for you, you can come and look for Su Yi. I believe Su Yi will definitely not refuse. Hanada Hanada. But I can't go out recently, I still have to prepare for the Chunin exam. Su Yi. Tune an exam. Is it so fast? Su Yi was a little shocked, but after thinking about the speed of time, he didn't feel so shocked. After all, the flow of time in each world is different. Hanada Hanada. Brother Su Yi, do you want to come and watch me when I take the Chunin exam? Anazi Huili. Little Hanada, you only invited your brother Su Yi, don't you intend to invite us? Estes. That's right, we also want to watch Hanada's exam. Edward Elric. By the way, the figure of the old man with the white beard, if he goes there, he will definitely attract the attention of others. White beard. G U la 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 la, it doesn't matter. White beard. When I was visiting the points mall, I came across a shrinking experience card by chance. With just 10 points, you can shrink your body to any extent for a period of time. White beard. When Xiao Hanada takes the exam, I can also visit it, gurgling. Yuki Asuna. It's just that when will the ninth person come, I really want to upgrade the chat group as soon as possible, otherwise, our salted fish party will have no points to use. Ding, the ninth person in the chat group has been confirmed, but because the world is about to collapse, he can't come for the time being. Ding, the mission is released. Save the collapsed world where the ninth person lives, and make the world relatively stable. Number of people limit, 5 people. Reward, 5,000 points. Ding, after the ninth person's world is relatively stable, the ninth person will join the chat group, and then the chat group will be upgraded. A series of electronic tones suddenly sounded in the chat group. Instantly attracted everyone's attention. Yuki Asuna. The world is collapsing. My god, it feels so scary. CC. Am I the only one concerned about the 5000 points? Edward Elric. Ah, I really want to participate, but I have something to do here. Estes. 
I'm fighting outside recently, and I can't get away for the time being. Hanada Hanada. I'm also preparing for the Chunin exam. Anazi Huli. You are all free, so the remaining people are just five people. Su Yi. It's just that the only problem now is that we don't know what world collapsed and who the ninth person is. And just at this moment, the chat group sounded an electronic tone again. Ding, the name of the collapsed world, Apocalypse of the Academy. The name of the ninth person is, Seiko Busushima. Note, because it is a collapsing world, only the group leader Suyi can use all of his power. Other quest participants will have most of their power sealed to prevent the world from completely collapsing. And as the electronic tone of the chat group fell, everyone was subconsciously stunned for a moment. Following the electronic tone in the chat group, it fell. Everyone was stunned. Looking at the restrictions above, they have a deeper understanding of the collapsed world in their hearts. It's just that, for them, it doesn't matter what restricts most of the power. Anyway, the group leader is behind to help them. Thinking of the power of the group leader, they felt unprecedented peace of mind. They felt that when the group leader was drawn, it was lucky that Su Yi was drawn. Otherwise, wouldn't it be very embarrassing if the group leader is not strong in such a situation? As soon as Su saw the message sent by the chat group, he knew that he must go this time. It's just that Su Yi is quite familiar with the world of the Academy of Apocalypse. If he remembered correctly, there were at most some zombies there. In addition to being more contagious, it has many weaknesses. Even in the original book, the group of protagonists can live quite well. No matter how you think about it, the world will not collapse. But it doesn't matter, anyway, he has confidence in his own strength. Su Yi, are you three sure you don't have time? Hanada Hanada. Well, I'm preparing for the Chunin exam recently. When I take the Chunin exam, everyone can come to my world to watch the battle. Estes, it's a war recently, anyway, there will be more opportunities like this in the future. Edward Elric. Ah, I'm also investigating some things recently. If I have the opportunity in the future, I will definitely participate in the mission and earn more and more points. As soon as Sue got everyone's confirmation, he had other people. Su Yi, you all get ready, I'll finish what I'm doing right away, and we'll gather when the time comes. Yuki Asuna, okay, then I'll prepare now. I hope Kaaba Akahiko won't be too shocked when I log out of the game. CC. Then I will take advantage of this time to go back to my own world and make corresponding preparations. Whitebeard. Giu la 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 la. You know Jawali. Then we'll wait for you here. Su Yi. If possible, you can prepare as much food and medicine as possible. After speaking, Su Yi withdrew from the chat group. Now that he has a task, he has to solve all these things. Thinking of this, Su Yi flew towards Shield at an even faster speed. At this time, Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D., was constantly mobilizing the remaining vibration gold and moving it towards Tony Stark. And at this moment, Nick Fury's expression changed. He suddenly looked at the glass next to him. An ominous premonition was born in my heart. You must know that this is the glass he just replaced by someone else. Just when Nick Fury thought of this, only a crash was heard. The glass shattered again. It was only seen that Su Yi released the ability of the Phantom Fruit. With a bunch of corpses, he threw it directly in front of Nick Fury. Nick Fury, this is the person you told me before. Your shield should have been infiltrated by Hydra. You should understand what I mean. I will give you a month to bring God find all the Hydra in the shield for me, and I will kill them personally. If it can't be done, then there is no need for shield in this world. Following Su Yi's words, the agent's body fell directly in front of Nick Fury under Su Yi's control. All of a sudden, a hill made of corpses appeared in front of Nick Fury. Nick Fury was completely stunned at this time. What did he just hear? Shield has been infiltrated by Hydra. Nick Fury suddenly came back to his senses, he wanted to ask Su Yi again, where did he get the news from? However, the moment he regained consciousness, Su Yi's figure had disappeared. However, Nick Fury felt that Su Yi would definitely not be aimless. The reason why he said that definitely has his own basis. In other words, has their shield really been infiltrated? Thinking of this, Nick Fury's body trembled subconsciously. But Su Yi didn't care about all of this at all. 
After dealing with all the Hydra agents, Su Yi returned to the villa at an extremely fast speed. As soon as he opened the door of his room, he saw Hila who was changing her pajamas. The two looked at each other, and time seemed to be frozen. Cough cough. Pretending to cough, Su Yi skillfully closed the door. Then he took Hila into his arms. Just like taking care of a little girl, Su Yi helped Hila in his arms change clothes there. At the same time, he said to Hila, Hela, I will go out for a while, maybe for a few days, during this time you can find Hannah to play, if you want to buy something, just swipe the one I gave you earlier that card will do. That card has million US dollars in it. If it's not enough, just talk to Jin and he will take care of everything. As a beautiful royal sister, Hela's cheeks flushed red when Su Yi teased her. She wrapped her hands around Su Yi's neck, fixed her eyes on Su Yi in front of her, opened her red lips, and said, come back soon. Don't worry, I'll come back as soon as possible. Su Yi habitually scratched Hela's nose. Then he said to everyone in the chat group, everyone, are you ready? Yuki Asuna, it's ready. CC, Ang, it's completely done. Whitebeard, always be prepared. You know Jawali, yeah. Su Yi, in that case, the mission begins. Ding, mission. Save the collapsing world where the ninth man lives, and make the world relatively stable. Task members. Su Yi, Yuki Asuna, Whitebeard, CC, Yuno Hana Retsu. Ding, start personnel transfer. Ding, the transmission was successful. With a burst of Wabwang flickering, Su Yi and the others found that they had come to the collapsed world where the ninth person, Seiko Busujima, was located, Apocalypse of the Academy. Su turned around and looked at the other group members. When he looked at Whitebeard, he only found that Whitebeard had changed from 666 cm in height to 216 cm in height. Whitebeard, you are. Gu la 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 la, this is the miniaturized experience card I redeemed from the Point Mall. You know Hannah also squinted his eyes, and looked at Whitebeard next to him, I never thought that this shrinking experience card would actually shrink Whitebeard's weapon to the corresponding height. Yuki Asuna and CC looked around and said, let's talk again later, we seem to be surrounded now. As the voices of the two women fell, everyone also looked aside. I only saw a large number of corpses wearing tattered school uniforms, covered in blood, and looking dead, they had turned into zombies, and they were constantly approaching them. Mighty, giving people a sense of depression. In the blink of an eye, they were completely surrounded. Evil, roar, the zombies roared continuously, and limped towards Su Yi and the others. Viscous blood continuously dripped from their bodies. Judging from the wounds, today should be the first day of the zombie outbreak. And according to the school uniforms they were wearing, if nothing unexpected happened, they should have been teleported directly to Fujimi Academy, where the story begins. Watching the zombies approaching constantly, Su Yi asked the surrounding members, How much is your strength limited? Yuki Asuna took over the samurai sword from Cici's hand, which was brought out by Cici from her own world. After casually waving the samurai sword, Yuki Asuna said to Su Yi, I seem to be at the level of a swordsman now, because I can't cut out the sword energy. CC also said, I am also like this, there is no way to cut out the sword energy at all, but the immortality bestowed on me by code seems to be still working. Whitebeard, my fruit ability and domineering ability can't be used at all now, but other abilities are still there. It's not a problem at all to deal with these guys in front of me. You know Jawaliu also felt his body, and finally said slowly. I seem to be unable to use the broken way, neither Shiji nor Swastika can do it, nor can the Reiatsu be released, and some seem to only have swordsmanship. Hearing everyone's words, Suyi roughly understood it. This is a world where zombies are rampant. Only by destroying the heads of zombies can they be completely killed. Most of your strength has been sealed. From a certain point of view, it is a good opportunity to exercise. It can draw you into the experience of life and death, so that after breaking the seal, your strength will be one step closer. Sue paused for a moment, and then said, but, when dealing with zombies, you must not let them bite you. The antidote for zombies in the points mall requires 500 points. Everyone was full of confidence when they heard Su Yi's words. Don't worry Su Yi, we will never make such a low-level mistake. You just watch from the side. This mission is for us to protect you. As soon as Sue heard what everyone said, 
he knew that they also wanted to become stronger, so he immediately smiled and said, Okay, then I will rely on your protection, ha 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 ha. As Su laughed out loud, many zombies were instantly attracted, walking towards them slowly. Except for Su Yi, the other four rushed towards the group of zombies. As for Su Yi, he was reduced to a spectator. All he has to do is to ensure that everyone is not injured, and the rest is their own experience. Dash, at this time, in the teaching building not far from Su Yi, a girl with purple hair was walking among the zombies holding a bamboo knife. Suddenly, a scream sounded, attracting the purple-haired girl's attention. Where is, the infirmary? Seiko Busujima murmured softly, and then the speed of the bamboo knife in her hand became a little faster. I only saw the bamboo knife in the hands of Seiko Busujima, as if it had turned into a real sharp sword. The light of the sword and the shadow of the sword danced. Every time Seiko Busujima raised her arm, she killed a zombie. After a while, Seiko Busujima came to the infirmary. Open the door of the infirmary. Seiko Busujima saw a zombie constantly gnawing on the shoulders of humans. The man's screams resounded in his ears. Ah, what's the situation? Classmate, why are you biting? It's not good. At this time, a woman with yellow hair and an explosive figure pointed to the scene in front of her and said. The voice sounds soft. There seemed to be no anxiety at all. Seiko Busujima recognized who the yellow-haired man was. It is none other than Shizuka Marikawa, the school doctor of Fujimi Academy. At this time, the zombie also walked towards Juchu on Shizuka after gnawing on the human's shoulder. Stretching out her hands with fangs and claws, her open mouth made Ju Chuan Shizuka's pupils shrink and she covered her mouth. At this moment, Seiko Busujima raised his knife and dropped it. Bang! All I saw was the wooden knife drawing an arc in the air and hitting the zombie's head hard. The head was destroyed, and the zombies stopped moving. Seiko Busujima looked up at the human next to her. No, to be precise, after being bitten by a zombie, he would cease to be human immediately. Thinking of this, Seiko Busushima took a deep breath, and she walked slowly to the man, saying, I am Seiko Busushima from the Kendo Club. Study, sister, cough cough. The man coughed a few times, and coughed up a lot of blood. He just felt more and more pain. You should know what it will look like after being bitten, and you probably don't want your family to see yourself like this. After a pause, Seiko Busujima said again, Although I haven't killed anyone, if you don't mind, I can. Having said that, Seiko Busujima stopped talking. The junior looked at Seiko Busujima in front of him, thinking of the disgusting gray face of the zombie just now, he subconsciously felt conflicted. Study, senior sister, I don't want to become like that, just let me die as a human, please. After the junior finished speaking, Seiko Busujima noticed a trace of a relieved smile on the junior's face. Perhaps, this is also a kind of redemption. It's just that in this scene, Ju Chuan Shizuka didn't turn the corner for a while. Wait a minute, classmate, what are you going to do? Seiko Busujima coldly glanced at Ju Chuan Shizuka next to her, and said, although you are the school doctor, I don't want you to interfere. This is his last choice. Following the words of Seiko Busujima, the voice fell. The last ray of sunset glow fell from the window. And as the junior fell to the ground, Seiko Busujima said to Ju Chuan Shizuka in front of her, Listen, school doctor, the world has collapsed now, if you don't have the determination to survive, then jump from the window. If you want to continue living, don't ask anything, just stay by my side. Your medical knowledge plays a very important role in today's world. The more she got into this situation, the more Seiko Busujima was able to calm down. I, I get it. I want to survive, please, Busujima-san. Then just follow along. After finishing speaking, Seiko Busujima prepared to rush out of the medical department with Ju Chuan Shizuka. But at this moment, she caught a glimpse of a picture outside the window from the corner of her eye. Afterwards, Seiko Busujima froze in place, staring blankly at the scene outside the window. These guys, are so strong. Seiko Busujima looked down at the campus entrance through the window. Only four people were seen, constantly slaughtering zombies there. Even Seiko Busujima was shocked by that relaxed look. And among these four people, there was another person who kept yawning, like a young master. Immediately Seiko Busujima ignored Suyi who was yawning. 
She just cared about those four people who were constantly fighting. She was very curious as to why these guys with outstanding combat power appeared in the school. If she is a student, why has she never seen or heard of it? Especially the old man with a head of more than two meters and a white beard with a crescent moon. If he is really a member of the school, then he should be very famous. Seiko, you, behind you. Ju Chuan Shizuka's voice reached Busujima Seiko's ears. Seiko Busujima woke up instantly, and turned her body backwards abruptly. With this strength, Seiko Busujima's wooden knife greeted the zombie directly. Bang, 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 three times in a row. With the flash of the wooden knife, the three zombies behind him were dealt with. Afterwards, Seiko Busujima took a deep look at the five people, and then led Ju Chuan Shizuka towards the outside. And with Seiko Busujima's departure, Suyi's eyes also fell on the glass of the room Seiko Busushima was in before. That guy seems to have noticed us. After killing a zombie, Maoji Huili said to Suyi next to him. The corner of Suyi's mouth raised, and he said to everyone, that guy is the ninth person, Seiko Busujima. The members present all noticed Seiko Busujima's gaze just now. Now, after hearing Suyi's words, they are all a little surprised. They didn't expect to meet Seiko Busujima just after they came to this world. So shall we go over and say hello to her? Yuki Asuna said. No need, she probably doesn't know about the chat group and our existence now, maybe she has doubts about us now, after all, this is the end of the world. Compared with zombies, she may be more wary of powerful people like us. Su Yi stood in the protective circle of four people, and said to everyone. Okay, now that the zombies are almost cleaned up, let's just enter the school, how do you feel? Whitebeard, it's been a long time since I felt a lack of physical strength. It seems that our physical strength has also been limited. You know Jawali, yeah, I thought this task was not difficult, but I didn't expect that the difficulty just appeared. Su Yi, well, it doesn't matter, you can fight at ease, after all, I'm here, you can feel at ease in the battle between life and death. Following Su Yi's words, the four members returned to Su Yi's side, and then walked towards the teaching building together. Dash, in the teaching building, zombies continued to emerge from every classroom. None of these zombies are intact. Blood stains stained their clothes, and they turned into walking corpses, wandering in the corridors constantly. Seiko Busujima panted slightly, she was almost in danger just now. I didn't expect the wrist strength of those zombies to be astonishing. It's hard to imagine that they were ordinary humans before. If they were caught by them, it would be difficult to escape. Ju Chuan Shizuka heard what Seiko Busujima said, and immediately said, they should have released the restrictions of the brain on the human body after they became zombies, and they can use their own power regardless of the consequences. Really, then, bang bang bang. Before Seiko Busujima finished speaking, Seiko Busujima heard the sound of shooting not far away. Is it those guys? No, it shouldn't be, the direction is completely different. That direction seems to be, the staff room. Thinking that there might be other survivors, Seiko Busujima and Shizuka Jushuan hurriedly ran towards the direction of the sound. In this world, there must be a team. If there is no team, then one day it will be cold. Thinking of this, Seiko Busujima thought of the team just now. I was secretly anxious in my heart. It's good that those guys are not hostile. If there is really hostility, can I really defeat those guys? So, no matter what, you must form your own team. Thinking of this, Seiko Busujima's speed was a little faster. Before Seiko Busujima got too close, she heard panicked voices ahead. No, the magazine is out. Hey, hey, what are you kidding at this time, there is a dead end behind us. Student Gao Chung, let's quickly find a way to escape from here, otherwise. But, we have no choice but to leave this ghostly place. Saya Takashiro, who has pink hair, has come to the rear, and she has no way out. He could only look at the zombies in front of him and slowly walk towards them. This feeling made her feel hopeless. Big tears fell from the corners of his eyes. Why, 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 why did we go through this kind of thing, why did the world become like this? Why is this? Takashi Saya only felt that she was going to collapse. Looking at the zombies approaching in front of her eyes, she subconsciously closed her eyes. And at this moment, 
Seiko Busujima's voice reached Saya Takashiro's ears. Hey, don't close your eyes, move your body. When Takashiro Saya heard this strange voice, she subconsciously opened her eyes. All she saw was a flowing purple hair. The purple hair fluttered in the air, and the wooden knife was mixed with a gleam of cold light, blooming with strong strength at this moment. The wooden knife easily destroyed the zombie's brain. Immediately, Seiko Busushima raised her slender legs and kicked the zombie in front of her to the side. As for Hirano Toda, Takashi Kimuro, who had short hair and was holding a baseball bat, and Rei Miyamoto, who was holding a long wire pole, were rescued. In this way, the three teams gathered here at this time. Seiko Busujima glanced around the crowd, her leadership aura exuded at this moment. Takashi Kimuro, Class 2B. Seiko Busushima. Seiko Busujima's tone was a little relaxed. Compared with the five people I saw just now, these people in front of me are at least from the same school as me. You, you are Busujima Senpei, the champion of last year's kendo competition, right? I'm Rei Miyamoto from the Spear Club. Miyamoto Rei said to Busujima Seiko. EMM, that, I'm Hirano Toda from Class B. Hirano Toda, who was using a nail gun just now, scratched his hair and introduced himself to everyone. That's enough, don't bother me there anymore, with this skill, you might as well tell me why the world has become like this, and why. Seiko Busushima looked at Saya Takashiro in front of her, who had completely collapsed, and immediately came in front of her. The slender palm was placed on Takashi Saya's fragrant shoulder, alive, it is enough to be alive now. The words of Seiko Busushima drifted into Saya Takashiro's ears. At this time, Takashi Saya finally could no longer be strong. She leaned directly into Seiko Busujima's arms, crying continuously in Seiko Busujima's arms. Only in the arms of Seiko Busujima can she have the slightest sense of security. Takashiro Saya's crying also made everyone fall into deep thought at this time. The world has completely changed, and they feel unprecedentedly confused about their own destiny. As Takashi Saya gradually calmed down, Busujima Seiko said to everyone, the world has changed, and we must form a team. Only in this way can we survive from this world. He added, because we are not only fighting against zombies, but also people's hearts. Clap clap. Just as Seiko Busujima finished speaking, there was a sound of applause in the distance. Surrounded by Yuki Asuna, CC, Anakonaretsu, and Whitebeard, Suyi was walking towards Seiko Busujima. But Seiko Busujima shrank her pupils when she saw Suyi Wu and the others coming. When Seiko Busushima saw Suyi and the others in front of her, her pupils suddenly shrank. I thought to myself, how did they find it? Seiko Busushima looked at the five people in front of her very vigilantly. I just feel that they are exuding suspicious auras all over their bodies. Suyi saw that Seiko Busujima was so wary of himself, and the corners of his mouth rose slightly, well, don't be so vigilant, in this world, there are more people and more power, right? However, what Suyi didn't know was that in the eyes of Seiko Busujima, Suyi was close to writing the words, I'm a villain, on his face. Seiko Busujima tightly held the wooden knife in her hand, and subconsciously stood in front of the others, staring closely at Suyi in front of her. You are not from the school, tell me your purpose. With a smile on his face, Suyi looked at Seiko Busujima in front of him. He could clearly feel the slightly trembling body of Seiko Busujima. Obviously, as an ordinary person, Seiko Busujima was more or less nervous when facing them. Especially next to me, there is a 216 centimeters tall man with a white beard who is holding the supreme sharp knife one of the 12 crafts Kong Yunchi. Several thoughts flashed through his mind, and the smile on Su Yi's face became more intense, hey, actually, we are here to protect you. Truth, as the group leader of the chat group, Su Yi protected the future members of the group, which can be said to be a matter of course. However, under such circumstances, Seiko Busujima became even more suspicious. Takashiro Saya also used her little mind to observe the clothes of Suyi and the others. Except for Suyi and Yuki Asuna, the people present were dressed similarly to them. The rest of the people can be said to be in outlandish clothes. As weird as it could be. Poison Island. Saya Takashiro was about to remind Seiko Busujima. But was stopped by Seiko Busujima with a look. I only heard Seiko Busujima say. I don't care what you think 
but if we don't leave the school now, we will be completely surrounded by zombies, and it will be even more difficult to escape. Su Yi. So, so no matter what you think now, let's cooperate temporarily, and when we get out of the teaching building, how about we disperse? Seiko Busushima said to Su Yi in front of her. When Seiko Busujima was speaking, she was also careful about the other four people besides Su Yi. In Seiko Busujima's view, the four people next to Su Yi should be protecting Su Yi. In addition to his own judgment, the combat effectiveness of Su Yi in front of him should not be high. Once those four people make any moves, at this distance, I can completely take Su Yi as a hostage. Su Yi nodded slightly after hearing what Seiko Busushima said. From the perspective of Seiko Busujima, there is no problem at all. In this kind of end times, what is more dangerous than zombies is the human heart. And at this moment, Kamuro Takashi, who was standing beside him, put forward his own ideas to Seiko Busujima and Su Yi. Many people are powerful, why don't we form a team now? I think that as long as we form a team, we will definitely become stronger. At that time, as long as we have a clear division of labor, we will not be afraid even if there are more zombies. Takashi Kamuro spoke there confidently. The idea he proposed was completely different from that of Seiko Busujima. After hearing Takashi Kamuro's thoughts, the man Hirano Toda also nodded. He agreed with Takashi Kamuro's point of view. After seeing that someone recognized him, the smile on Kamuro Takashi's face became even brighter. He has his own ambitions in his heart. As long as you can be the leader of the team. At that time, survival will not be a problem, and even women can embrace left and right. Thinking of this, Takashi Kamuro couldn't help showing a confident smile on his face. Little did they know, Takashi Kamuro was almost scolded to death in the hearts of Saya Takashiro and Seiko Busujima. Even Kamuro Takashi's thoughts, Takashiro Saya and Busujima Seiko guessed the same. This made the two girls feel even more disgusted. Just when they were thinking about how to attack this situation, Su Yi, who was standing in front of Seiko Busujima, slowly smiled and said, Okay, you're right, there are many people, there is great strength. As Su Yi's words fell, the hearts of Saya Takashiro and Seiko Busushima suddenly sank. They could all feel the smile on Su Yi's face, that very targeted smile. Nerves tense up immediately. Because no matter how you look at it, if your team were to conflict with Su Yi's team, they would definitely lose. In addition, Su Yi deliberately walked into the teaching building from the outside to find out their strange behavior. It was hard for Seiko Busujima to believe that these guys in front of her had other plans. And at this time, Takashi Kamuro did another thing that broke them down. Xiao Shi Xiao came to Su Yi with a smile stretched out his hand to Su Yi, and said, please give me more advice in the future. However, Su Yi just glanced at Takashi Kamuro lightly, then looked at Seiko Busujima in front of him, and said to Seiko Busujima, please give me more advice in the future. Please give me more advice in the future. In various meanings. As Su Yi's voice fell, Su Yi turned around directly and walked towards the outside of the school. It looks like it's opening the way. No one noticed that there was a gloomy look in the eyes of Takashi Kamuro who was walking at the end. In the chat group, Estes, curiously, have you found the number 9 member Seiko Busujima? Su Yi, it has been found. Hanada Hanada, what kind of person is sister Seiko Busujima? Edward Elric, curious, JPG, CC, I think Seiko Busujima is a very good person, both in character and ability. Yuki Asuna, Indeed, I feel that as long as Busujima Seiko joins the chat group, her strength will definitely improve very quickly, and she will become a very reliable member. Uno Zihu Alai. It's just that there is a man here who is so disgusting, that kind of stare makes me sick, I really want to kill him. Su Yi. Ha 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 ha, I thought I was the only one, and I felt that Takashi Kamuro was so stupid. In this kind of apocalypse, he still wants to control a group stronger than himself. I have to say, this kind of thinking is really naive. Su Yi, tell me when you can't help it, I'll form a team with you. Mao Zihu Alai, it's an honor. In the corridor, Su Yi walked in the middle. The corners of his mouth rose slightly. They are fighting here while chatting with the water group in the group. It is also a form of secret communication. 
As for Seiko Busujima and the others, after seeing the battle of Whitebeard and the others, they were even more frightened in their hearts. They only felt that the escape in the back might not be very difficult and peaceful. Faintly, Seiko Busujima and the others somewhat rejected Kamuro Takato and the others. But Takashi Kamuro didn't notice this scene at this time. He has sunk into self-admiration. Every time he defeated a zombie, he felt more powerful. This feeling kept lingering in Takashi Kamuro's heart. Even Rei Miyamoto, a childhood sweetheart, has noticed some changes in Takashi Kamuro. However, as they continued to break through, there were more and more zombies around. It's no longer the time to think about things quietly. The most urgent task now is to break out from the school. But when Rei Miyamoto was distracted, the five zombies in front of her suddenly rushed towards her. In an instant, Rei Miyamoto's face turned extremely pale. If she confronted alone, then Rei Miyamoto wouldn't be so scared. But facing five zombies at the same time, she felt a biting cold that penetrated into her bone marrow. Do not. No, I don't want to die yet. I don't know if my parents are still alive. If I let them know that I was bitten by a zombie, wouldn't they be very sad? Miyamoto Rei's body froze. And at this critical moment, only Su Yi's voice was heard, Maoji Walai. The corners of Ujiwali's mouth raised when Su Yi called his name. The figure quickly came to Miyamoto Rei. Like Yamato Nadashiko, she instantly pulled out the Zanpakuto from her waist at this moment. Ujiwali's aura changed suddenly. From Yamato Nadako's serene aura, it turned into a monstrous fighting spirit. Between the flickering of the knife light, five zombies were cut in half. The zombie whose brain was destroyed fell straight to the ground. Afterwards, Ujawali slowly withdrew his knife. He stood next to Suyi again. And this scene was seen by Seiko Busujima. Seiko Busujima felt an indescribable feeling. The front is the entrance of the teaching building. I remember there is a school bus there. We can take the bus and leave. Ju Chuan Shizuka said, and walked forward. Seeing this, Seiko Busujima couldn't help but said to Ju Chuan Shizuka, Hey! You are looking at some zombies. Seeing Ju Chuan Shizuka's appearance, Suyi thought to himself, Sure enough, this woman is really stupid and hopeless. Thinking of this, Suyi said again, Asuna, CC. Suyi called out these two names. Yuki Asuna and CC immediately followed Ju Chuan Shizuka, covering Ju Chuan Shizuka and ran towards the bus. Seeing this, Seiko Busushima said to Suyi after beheading a zombie, Thank you. Although Seiko Busujima didn't know Su Yi's purpose, she still expressed her gratitude. Regarding this, Su Yi said lightly, After all, this is the person you brought out, so you always have to protect him, don't you? As Su Yi's words fell, he turned to Whitebeard next to him and said, Whitebeard, clear the scene. Clearance, Seiko Busujima frowned subconsciously, and turned to look at the Whitebeard next to her. She didn't understand what clearing meant. Not only Seiko Busujima, but also Saya Takashiro and Rei Miyamoto turned to look at Whitebeard beside him. Hearing Su Yi's words, Whitebeard took a deep breath, and the muscles on his body bulged even more. I only heard Whitebeard laugh wildly at this moment, Ji Yu la 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 la, leave it to me. As Whitebeard's words fell, he brazenly picked up Kong Yunchi in his hand, and strode towards the group of zombies. Afterwards, the pupils of Busujima Seiko and the others suddenly shrank. I saw Whitebeard holding Kong Yunchi in his hand and rushing straight into the group of zombies. With both hands constantly waving, not even a single zombie could cross Whitebeard and reach Su Yi's range. So strong. This guy is too strong. Seiko Busushima murmured. Takashi Saya also exclaimed. In this world, is there really such a powerful person? It's really strong. No matter how you think about it, this is not the physique that a human should have, right? Miyamoto Rei muttered to herself. When Takashi Kimuro heard Miyamoto Rei's words, the corner of his mouth twitched. He secretly hated Whitebeard in his heart. He just felt that Whitebeard had stolen his limelight. And at this moment, Ju Chuan Shizuka had already started the bus. Seeing this, Yuki Asuna also shouted to everyone, Hey, get in the car. Seiko Busujima also gritted her teeth and said, Get in the car immediately. There are more and more zombies. Hearing the words of Yuki Asuna and Busujima Seiko, Suyi yawned, I have to say, 
Yuki Asuna and Busuji Maseko are standing together, and people from different worlds meet at this moment. It's an amazing feeling. Su Yi murmured, and walked towards the bus. Ujawali followed closely beside Su Yi, and came to the bus together. Seeing that everyone had already got on the bus, Whitebeard immediately gave up the slaughter, held his own Kong Yunchi tightly, and jumped directly on top of the bus. After all, he has a white beard, and he doesn't want to sit in such an aggrieved place. Might as well sit on the roof. This way he will be more at ease. Ju Chuan Shizuka saw that everyone was present. Immediately, he also stepped on the accelerator, ready to rush out towards the school gate. Wait, wait a minute. Please save us. Suddenly, a voice came from afar. When Xiao Shishao heard this voice, the heart of the virgin suddenly flooded. Immediately said to Ju Chuan Shizuka in the driver's seat, Don't drive yet, someone is calling for help. Seiko Busushima frowned slightly, looking at those people running towards the bus. It seems to be Koichi Wisteria. When Rei Miyamoto heard what Seiko Busujima said, her pupils shrank suddenly. Koichi Wisteria, Rei Miyamoto murmured, and suddenly, as if she had realized something, she quickly said to Takashi Kamuro next to her, it's okay to not save that kind of person. Let's get out of here quickly. Kamuro Takashi immediately felt very disgusted when he heard Miyamoto raise words. Someone asks us for help, why don't we help? In this situation, there are more people, isn't it? After finishing speaking, Takashi Kamuro looked at Hirano Toda next to him, am I right? Toda. Hirano Toda was paddling beside him, but when he heard Takashi Kamuro's words, he subconsciously nodded. Seeing the appearance of Takashi Kamuro and Hei Nododa, Miyamoto Rei was angry. Her heart was a little broken, wouldn't it be better for that kind of guy to just die? Su Yi, Anakonoretsu, CC, and Yuki Asuna were sitting at the back of the bus at this time, watching the scene in front of them, shaking their heads slightly. CC also said next to him, this person called Takashi Kamuro, I'm afraid he didn't grow up in a greenhouse, he is really too naive. Yuno Jawali had a smile on her face, like the most gentle woman, only to hear her say, that's why I want to kill this kind of holy mother. Hearing Yuno Hana's words, everyone couldn't laugh or cry for a while. They are used to Ujawali, using the most gentle words and smiles, and uttering the most cruel and terrifying words. Yuki Asuna also said at this time, it's better to be Seiko Busujima. Should I say that she is worthy of being selected by the chat group? From a certain point of view, she is really excellent, especially in comparison with Takashi Kamuro. Su Yi, well, don't talk about him, let's talk about how you guys feel about fighting. Yuki Asuna, it's okay, I feel that such constant fighting will improve my strength very quickly. CC, I feel the same way. You know Jawali, I have a little understanding, but now there are physical limitations, so I have to be careful in all aspects. While everyone was talking, Wisteria Koichi brought several other people to the bus. At this time, Kamuro Takashi acted as a good person and said, Don't worry, you are all fine now. Then Takashi Kamuro said to Ju Chuan Shizuka in an orderly tone, Drive now. This guy, seeing this, Seiko Busushima wished she could take out her wooden knife and teach Takashi Kamuro a lesson. Let him know why the flowers are so red. Takashi Kamuro now completely wants to show that he is a leader, so as to demonstrate his ability. Let people feel recognized for him. However, Rei Miyamoto knew that this was absolutely impossible. Because Wisteria Koichi is definitely not that kind of person. Sure enough, Wisteria Koichi's physical strength recovered a little bit. He panted slightly, straightened his collar, and said in the bus, It's not easy, I'm finally saved. Koichi Wisteria then said to Takashi Kamuro, Taka Kamuro, are you the leader of these guys? Kamuro Takashi raised the corners of his mouth, just as he was about to respond. But Seiko Busujima said lightly, We don't have any leaders, we just help each other in order to survive. After Seiko Busujima finished speaking, she looked at Suyi beside her. If Suyi can stand on their side at this time, it will be very beneficial to the current situation. It's just that Seiko Busujima doesn't know what Suyi wants to do. But no matter how you think about it, it should be impossible. Wisteria Hiroshi pushed his glasses frame with a confident look on his face. Only Koichi's voice was heard, echoing in the bus. That can't be done, 
in order to survive, a leader is absolutely needed. And I will lead you to the real hope, a bright future. Wisteria Koichi kept waving his arms as if he was giving a speech, and said to everyone. Miyamoto Ray listened to Koichi Wisteria's disgusting words, and finally couldn't bear it any longer. She said to Kamuro Takashi next to her, Kamuro Taka, you will definitely regret saving this guy. After finishing speaking, Miyamoto Ray said to Ju Chuan Shizuka, stop the car, I want to get off. Kamuro Takashi was even more puzzled when he saw this. Lee, what are you going to do? Su Yi looked at the scene in front of him, and said to CC next to him, CC, I remember you have some food there. CC took out his bag, took out a pack of pizza-flavored potato chips, and handed it to Su Yi next to him. Immediately, Su Yi and the other three girls ate potato chips in the back row and became spectators. And at this moment, Zitang Haoyi looked at Su Yi. Only Wisteria Koichi's voice came into Su Yi's ears. Student, now that the world is collapsing, food is a precious commodity. Please give me the food in your hands. Saying that, Zitang Haoyi walked towards Su Yi. At the same time, his eyes fell on the three girls beside Su Yi. There was an extremely wretched look in his eyes, and he said again, Three beauties, you are not wearing school uniforms, you are not students after all, would you like to join my team, if you want, I can provide all kinds of food in the future. You guy, really. Yuki Asuna was about to teach her a lesson, when the wisteria Koichi in front of her. But Su Yi's voice sounded slowly in the bus, what if I refuse? Su Yi smiled and said to Wisteria Hao in front of him. As soon as Zitang Hao heard Su Yi's words, before he could speak, the students he brought said, If you disagree, we will kick you out of this team. Only following teacher Wisteria is the most correct choice. If you say no, get off this bus. The words of these students are more harsh than the last. It's just that Su Yi was not angry yet, Xiao Shi Xiao was angry. I only heard Takashi Kamuro say to Koichi Wisteria, Hey, don't forget, who saved you? This is not your bus. If I hadn't saved you at the beginning, you wouldn't be able to get on it. After Wisteria Koichi heard Takashi Kamuro's words, a silver light flashed through the lens. Then he said to the classmates he brought over, It seems that this guy is not willing to become a group with us. Then those who don't want to be in a group with us, what should we do? Wisteria Koichi is like a demon, inducing his students. And his students, as if possessed by a demon, turned their attention to Takashi Kamuro next to him. Throw him out. I don't know who yelled this sentence first, the students brought by Zidang Hao rushed towards Kamuro Takashi. Inside the bus, there was a mess at this moment. Whitebeard, who was sitting on top of the bus, also noticed the chaos in the bus. When he became curious, he saw Takashi Kamuro seemed to be thrown out by something. Immediately afterwards, Hirano Toda was also thrown out by those guys like Wisteria Koichi. Now, in the entire bus, apart from Zidang Hao and his group, there is only one man, Su Yi, still in the bus. Hey, do you want to be thrown out by them, or walk out of the bus by yourself? Like a winner, Wisteria Koichi looked down at Su Yi in front of him. At this moment, the atmosphere in the bus froze to the extreme. Seiko Busushima's hand was directly on the hilt of the wooden sword. The expressions of the women Takashiro Saya, Miyamoto Rei, and Ju Chuan Shizuka also became very ugly. And at this moment, Su Yi's voice faintly echoed, What if I choose the third option? The third option, Wisteria Hao didn't react for a while. Yes, it's the third option. Throw you and your students out of the bus with broken arms, so that you can enjoy this crumbling world. It's just that as Su Yi's voice fell, Zitang Koichi suddenly let out an almost crazy laugh. Ha 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 ha, is it up to you? You deserve, evil. Chapter 91, ha 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 ha, you deserve it, evil. Before Wisteria Hao could finish speaking, he felt as if something had clamped his neck. The body suddenly vacated, a strong sense of suffocation suddenly came to my heart. When, Seiko Busushima's pupils shrank suddenly. She didn't see Su Yi's actions just now. Is this terrifying speed really an ordinary person? Thinking about how she actually wanted to take Su Yi as a hostage just now, Seiko Busujima shuddered subconsciously. Wisteria Koichi's hands kept patting Su Yi's arm. He wanted to speak, but the strong suffocation made him unable to speak at all. 
And under such circumstances, Su Yi said to Koichi Wisteria in front of him, Hey, you may not have heard clearly just now, let me repeat, do you want to try the feeling of surviving in this world after your arm is broken? Wisteria Koichi's pupils suddenly shrank. He wanted to make a sound, but there was no way to make even the slightest sound. His eyes were already filled with a little bloodshot. At this moment, his face became even paler. If he was given another chance, he would never offend the person in front of him. Wrong. This is not human at all, just ask who can pick up a grown man with one hand. Moreover, he only felt that his brain was getting dizzy now. However, Su Yi didn't care at all, but continued to say, Are you talking? If you don't, I'll continue to help you make decisions. Seeing Su Yi in front of her, not only Seiko Busujima felt terrified, even Rei Miyamoto and Saya Takashiro felt terrified. They never imagined that Su Yi, who seemed to be the weakest, actually possessed such great strength. The most important thing is the way he handles things. It's really cruel. But Rei Miyamoto said that she loves her so much. The wisteria Koichi in front of him is simply a scumbag. He used the means in his hand to forcefully keep her one level. At the same time, it also targeted her father. This kind of disgusting person, in Miyamoto Rei's view, no matter how to deal with it, it is a very satisfying feeling. And at this moment, Su Yi showed a disappointed expression on his face, Hey, why don't you answer my words? It seems that you really want me to help you make a choice. If so, then I let me help you choose. As Su Yi's voice fell, he was only seen slowly stretching out his other arm. Unprecedented despair completely wrapped up Koichi Wisteria at this moment. At this moment, he finally knew how desperate those students who were abandoned by him were in his heart at that time. However, Koichi Wisteria did not have the slightest remorse in his heart. Instead, he looked at Su Yi in front of him with even more resentment. If eyes can kill people, maybe Su Yi. Oh, I forgot, Su Yi is already immune to being killed by his eyes. Bang. Following Su Yi's hand holding Wisteria Koichi's arm, he gently pulled it out. Ah 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 ah. Wisteria Koichi stared at Su Yi more and more struggling. But Su Yi didn't take it seriously, and directly threw Wisteria Koichi's arm out of the window. Afterwards, Su Yi reached out to Koichi Wisteria's left hand and his two legs. After finishing all this, Su Yi directly threw Wisteria Hao outside. Immediately afterwards, Su Yi looked at the students in the bus who were too shocked to speak. I only heard Su Yi murmuring. I remember just now, it seemed that you guys were the ones who made the most noise. As Su Yi's words fell, those students immediately screamed. They looked at Su Yi in horror, as if they were looking at a demon. Without any hesitation, they immediately jumped from the window, or rushed out of the car door. Like birds and beasts scattered, they ran in all directions. Wisteria Hiroshi looked at the scene in front of him, resisting the thought of coughing. With an extremely hoarse voice, he said to the students who kept running away, Help, save me. You guys, come back and save me. I am your teacher. Cough, cough, cough. Before Koichi Wisteria said a few words, he coughed, and blood was coughed up by Koichi Wisteria in an instant. At this time, Su Yi stood by the car window, looking down at Koichi Wisteria below, it seems that you still don't understand that in this crumbling world, people like you will always be a burden. When you have no ability, even a fool will not attach to you. Wisteria Haoyi stared at Su Yi who was not far away. Not only him, even Takashi Kimuro and Hei Nododa below subconsciously swallowed at this moment. Takashi Kimuro even gave birth to an unprecedented panic in his heart, this guy is really scary. Why are there such horrible people in this world? Xiao Xixiao only felt that Su Yi was constantly exuding a deep aura. These auras were like mountains of corpses and seas of blood, pressing towards Xiao Xixiao like waves. Maybe it was the feeling of this great terror. Instead of returning to the bus, Takashi Kimuro screamed and ran straight away. Hirano Tota glanced at Su Yi, and subconsciously followed Takashi Kimuro and left. As soon as Su saw this scene, ah, ah, why did those two guys run away like this? Yunojiwaretsu caressed the hilt of her zanpakudo, and whispered softly at this time, what a pity. Yuki Asuna and CC, after hearing Yunohana Retsu's words, complained in their hearts, it's a pity you didn't kill Takashi Kimuro. At this moment, Rei Miyamoto, who had been silent before, 
looked at Su Yi in front of him with admiration, and said to Su Yi, it doesn't matter whether they leave or not, whoever asked him to rescue Koichi Wisteria back then caused you such trouble. This is exactly what they deserve. Hearing Miyamoto Ray's words, Su Yi glanced at Miyamoto Ray lightly, and said, oh. Then, he said to Ju Chuan Shizuka, okay, the matter is settled, you can drive. After speaking, Su Yi walked towards the last row of the bus. The car slowly opened. Wisteria Koichi's pupils became more and more dilated. Watching the car getting farther and farther away from him, as well as his gradually icy body, and the disgusting zombies that kept approaching him. He exhausted all his strength, and said with great resentment, Su Yi. Even if I turn into a zombie, I won't let you go. Inside the car, Seiko Busujima came in front of Su Yi. She looked closely at Su Yi in front of her, and said to Su Yi, You. What are your plans? Su Yi looked at Seiko Busujima in front of him. It was different from the cold tone when talking to Rei Miyamoto. When facing Seiko Busujima, a smile suddenly appeared on Su Yi's face. He said to Seiko Busujima very naturally, Didn't I say it before? Of course it's to protect you. Protect me. Why, could it be that you were sent by my parents? Seiko Busujima said tentatively to Su Yi. Regarding this, Su Yi slowly shook his head. He looked at Seiko Busujima in front of him and said, No one can order us, so we were not sent by your parents to protect you. After a pause, Su Yi said to Seiko Busujima in front of him, You will understand these things later. Just when Seiko Busujima wanted to take a step closer and asked Su Yi about other things. Ju Chuan Shizuka, who was driving the bus, slammed on the brakes at this moment. Ah, Miyamoto Rei screamed, her whole body leaned forward uncontrollably. But Seiko Busujima and Saya Takashiro who were standing beside Su Yi were embraced by Su Yi. After the bus stabilized, Su Yi let go of his hands. Turning to Ju Chuan Shizuka who was sitting in the driver's seat not far away, he said, did something happen in front? Ju Chuan Shizuka was naturally dumbfounded, and said to Su Yi and the others, we seem to be unable to go any further. The voice fell, everyone looked outside the bus. I only saw that there was already a lot of traffic not far away. A large number of vehicles lined up there, waiting to cross the bridge. But at the bridgehead, there are a large number of people with guns in their hands, guarding there. And not far from them, you can see a few zombies walking here from time to time. I think it won't be long before the noise here will be able to attract a large number of zombies. Su Yi glanced at it casually, and then said, It seems that we have no choice, we can only walk on foot, let's pack up our things, a battle will inevitably start soon. Followed by Su Yi's words, the three daughters C.C., Anahanaretsu, and Yuki Asuna stood up from their seats. The breath on his body is faintly visible, but even if it is the slightest curl of breath, it falls into the perception of Seiko Busujima, and it feels like a vast ocean. What's more, these three women are all holding sharp swords. For some reason, Seiko Busujima only feels that she has found an organization. Because she knows that she is a pervert, a pervert who enjoys violence. In her understanding, she is completely unworthy of having a girlish heart, let alone loving others and being loved. But the appearance of Suyi and others made Seiko Busushima feel like she had found her kind. Unknowingly, Seiko Busujima's wariness towards Suyi and the others has been reduced to the minimum. Suyi also became the leader of this team. After Suyi's words fell, the other people started to pack their things, abandoned the car, and left. Whitebeard also jumped off the roof directly. That terrifying height and the weapon in his hand are incomparably sturdy. Then the zombies on the road will count on you, you can try to break through your physical strength, maybe your strength will increase significantly. Gu la 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 la, that's what I thought. Yuki Asuna and CC also said, we will work hard. You know Jawali, it seems that we can start killing again. As the voices of the people fell, they immediately spread out in all directions, killing all the zombies along the way. And continue to expand the scope of hunting. Ju Chuan Shizuka didn't care about the actions of Bybird and the others. After Bybird and the others disappeared into view, she said to Su Yi, It suddenly occurred to me that my friend seems to have a house nearby, and I just happened to be there. Has the key. Saying that, Ju Chuan Shizuka took out a key from her body. Su subconsciously asked, 
You, where did you take it out just now? Ju Chuan Shizuka straightened her body, pointed to her chest. From here, is there anything strange? Please, that's why it's weird. Su Yi complained aloud, but thinking that Ju Chuan Shizuka was a super invincible and naturally dumbfounded, Su Yi stopped complaining. Otherwise, the only one who is tired is myself. Since you have the key, let's go to your friend's room and rest for the night. After finishing speaking, Su Yi said to everyone in the chat group, If you see a convenience store, remember to bring more food. I will find a place to live with them, and when we find the location, I will give it to you. Send a location, and you can just come over directly. After telling these things in the chat area, Su Yi followed Ju Chuan Shizuka towards her friend's house. Because Whitebeard and the others are centered on the team, spreading towards the surroundings and constantly hunting. So not even a single zombie appeared around. At this time, Seiko Busujima said to Su Yi, Su Yi, we're leaving like this, will your partner not be able to find us? No, they have a way to find me, and you will know later. Wait for later, can we really have a future? Seiko Busujima suddenly felt a little anxious in her heart. Obviously this morning, the world is still very normal. But now, near night time, the world has collapsed incomparably. Presumably this collapse will gradually accelerate as time goes on. Although, she thinks this feeling of unlimited freedom is very good, especially being able to fight continuously, which makes Busujima Seiko feel even more excited. But she didn't know how long she could last in this kind of life. Perhaps it was aware of Seiko Busujima's mood swings. Su Yi's footsteps stopped. At this moment, only Su Yi was looking up at the remnant clouds in the sky. At this time the sky has been a little cloudy. It would not be long before the sky would be shrouded in darkness. I only heard Su Yi say slowly, this world has already collapsed. If the excitement of killing was a crime before, then in a world where zombies are rampant, it will become a factor that makes you constantly stronger. To borrow someone's words, the fault is not you, but the world. At this moment, Su Yi turned to look at Seiko Busujima next to him, and said, try hard to enjoy the fun of fighting, no matter what happens, I will stand behind you and protect your safety. As the group leader, Su Yi is taking care of future members. But it fell into the ears of Seiko Busujima, but it made Seiko Busushima's heart tremble suddenly. Will you always stand behind me and protect me? For some reason, Seiko Busujima only felt that Su Yi's figure seemed to be clearer in her heart. Soon, everyone came to the house that Ju Chuan Shizuka mentioned. Just after entering the room, the hearts of the girls subconsciously relaxed. Ju Chuan Shizuka was even more naturally dumbfounded, and changed her blood-stained clothes. It completely ignored the existence of Su Yi, a man. Then he hopped and walked towards the bathroom. At the same time, he said loudly to the other girls, Seiko, let's go take a bath together. Student Li and Gao Chang, let's go there together. Takashiro Saya was held in Ju Chuan Shizuka's arms, and she almost felt out of breath. Save, save me, save me. Takashiro Saya struggled vigorously in Ju Chuan Shizuka's arms. That delicate little face, like Sayaka Takashi's pink hair, turned very pink. Looking at the few girls in front of him, they were playing around. Su Yi sighed. Fortunately, I was the only man in the room, wait a minute, thinking about it this way, I seem to be quite happy. With that in mind, Su Yi came to the balcony. The whole person leaned on the balcony, looking at the bridge not far away. At this time, the sky was covered with dark clouds. Only the lights at the bridgehead are very dazzling. Under this light, the room Su Yi was in seemed to be completely hidden in silent darkness. Just when Su Yi felt a little emotional in his heart, there was another person on the balcony. I only saw Saya Takashiro coming directly to Su Yi's side, lying on the railing of the balcony just like Su Yi. Aren't you going to take a shower? Su Yi said calmly to Saya Gaocheng next to him. Hearing Su Yi's cold words, Saya Gaocheng felt a little uncomfortable for some reason. Especially Saya Takashiro. After seeing how good Su was to Seiko Busujima, for some reason, she became a little apprehensive. No, I want to talk to you now. Talk, talk about what? I think you seem to care about Seiko Busujima very much, did the two of you know each other before? I don't know each other, but it will be like a family in the future. All the members in the chat group are his family members in Su Yi's eyes. 
However, Takashi Saya misunderstood, thought that Su Yi was planning to pursue Seiko Busujima. For some reason, Takashiro Saya was slightly disappointed. She wondered if she was not good looking. Why doesn't Su Yi like herself? Takashi Saya only felt that her heart became a little melancholy. It seems to be to change the subject. Yao Chung Saya asked Su Yi, I want to ask, where are you from? Why do you feel that the style of your clothes doesn't seem to come from the same place at all, and it feels very mixed? Yuki Asuna and Su Yi were wearing normal sportswear. CC is wearing a white restraint suit. Anakonoretsu is a kimono. There is a cloak behind the white beard. It's really weird no matter how you look at it. Regarding this, the corners of Su Yi's mouth rose slightly, if it is said that we come from other different planes, would you believe it? Gao Chung Saya's pupils shrank suddenly, and asked subconsciously, other different planes. What does this mean? However, it has not waited for Su Yi to answer Takashi Saya's question. Harsh screams appeared in everyone's ears. Su Yi's eyes narrowed slightly. Following the direction of the sound, he looked into the distance. With the appearance of screams, the girls in the bathroom rushed out of the bathroom wearing freshly washed clothes that were still full of moisture. Seiko Busushima looked around vigilantly, what happened? Takashiro Saya didn't hesitate, she ran to the sofa and picked up a telescope. Then came to the balcony and looked towards the place where the sound came from. Immediately, Takashi Saya quickly said, It seems to be a little girl, she is surrounded by zombies. Seiko Busushima's expression changed suddenly after hearing Saya Takashiro's words. Even Su Yi's face changed slightly, and he said at this moment, Leave this matter to me, you should take a shower now, what should you do, don't catch a cold, I'll go go and come. Saying that, Su Yi directly jumped off the balcony under everyone's gaze. All the girls looked at the scene in front of them in shock, and all lay down on the railing, fearing that Su Yi would hurt themselves just like that. But when they looked down the balcony, they found that Su Yi's figure had completely disappeared. Dash, in a traditional Japanese courtyard, a lowly hid in a corner with a pale face. He even held a puppy in his arms, tears streaming down from the corners of his eyes unstoppable. However, what she was afraid of was not the zombies in front of her. It was because the corpse lying in front of him was none other than his only remaining relative, his father. A knife was deeply inserted into his father's abdomen, and blood kept gushing out from the abdomen. It looks quite miserable. Why did they kill my dad? Why did they kill my dad? Little Lolita murmured, not paying any attention to the fact that the zombies were slowly walking towards her. Perhaps, she knew that the zombies had come. But she, who was already desperate in her heart, couldn't move her body at all. Only the puppy in little Lolita's arms was howling loudly. However, instead of scaring off the zombies, it would make more and more zombies come. It wasn't until one of the zombies stood in front of little Lolita, and the rotten breath from his body floated in front of little Lolita, that little Lolita seemed to be able to recover. Roar, the roar of the zombies sounded. Little Loli raised her head, staring blankly at the zombie in front of her. There was no fluctuation in the empty eyes. Just like that, watching the zombie getting closer and closer to him. That's not okay. Suddenly, Su Yi's voice came from the yard. In the next second, little Lolita only felt that she was hugged directly by Su Yi. If you just give up your life like this, it's disrespectful to life. Su Yi's voice rang in little Lolita's ears again. Immediately afterwards, Su Yi slowly stretched out his right hand. No blade flow slash. As Su Yi's words fell, I saw a slash of sword energy suddenly ejected from Su Yi's hand. In the blink of an eye, the staring slash rushed to the front of the zombie. Lol, all I saw was the body of the zombie, which was easily cut in half. Lying powerlessly on the ground, it looked terrifying. Little Lolita stared blankly at Su Yi in front of her, and immediately shed more tears. She hugged Su Yi tightly, her small body trembling constantly. Dad, my dad, woo woo woo. Little Lolita kept crying, even Su Yi was heartbroken when she heard it. He looked at the man with a knife stuck in his stomach. The man was out of breath. His eyes were fixed on the sky. It seems very unwilling. He didn't give Su Yi too much time to sigh. Because there seemed to be more zombies in front of Su Yi. Without any hesitation, Su Yi waved his right hand again and again. Every time he swung it, it was accompanied by a surge of sword energy. 
This is the skill that Su Yi, Asuna, and Si Si obtained together. It is especially useful when facing these corpse like zombies. In just a short moment, Su Yi completely wiped out the surrounding zombies. Afterwards, Su Yi put down the little lowly Siri Alice. Siri Alice trotted to the front of her father, looking at the father who was no longer angry. Siri Alice murmured, Dad, is it really dead? Accompanied by this whisper, Su Yi walked towards Siri Alice's father. Conveniently, he picked up the white shirt hanging beside him, and at the same time pulled down the wild flowers beside him. Then he stepped forward sharply. Bang! Siri Alice only saw the ground crack instantly, and a pit appeared in front of her. Uni sauce! Siri Alice looked at Su Yi curiously. All I saw was that Su Yi put Siri Alice's father in the pit, and then put the white shirt just now on her father. Then, slowly put the wild flowers on it. I only heard Su Yi say at this time, let your father die in peace. He died to protect you. He is a good father, so you have to be strong and live on. After finishing speaking, Su Yi held Siri Alice in his arms, gently stroking Siri Alice's hair, until Siri Alice had no strength to cry, and fell asleep after crying. Su Yikai took her and her puppy back to the room. After explaining to Seiko and others, he then came to the balcony again. Only this time, he looked at a house in the distance in front of him. His eyes narrowed slightly. Anyone who is familiar with him will know that at this moment Su Yi is in a very angry state. Since you killed Alice's father, pay for it. As Su Yi finished speaking, he only saw him raising his arms high, pointing to the dark sky. The sword energy continuously condensed on Su Yi's fingers, condensed all of Su Yi's sword will, following Su Yi's fingers slowly sliding down. All I saw was an extremely sharp sword chi, piercing through the air. Where the sword chi passed, nothing could stop it, and everything was torn into pieces by the sword chi. And when the sword chi reached the house, the sword chi did not weaken at all, but mixed with thick blood. The house was directly rolled into pieces. No knife flow tornado. Following Su Yi's murmur, there was a slight sound from behind the balcony. Su Yi glanced at the glass door behind him lightly, and stopped paying too much attention. Because Yuno know Jawali and others have already returned. However, because Whitebeard felt that the house was too small, he went directly to live in a villa next door. So, in the room, there was only Su Yi, a boy. This made Su Yi feel that he couldn't bear it. Not to mention anything else, just saying that the blood stains on the girl's clothes needs to be cleaned, made Su Yi feel like Alexander. I just feel that this night is extremely long. The next day, Takashi Saya was the first to wake up from the dream. She didn't sleep well that night, thinking of Su Yi destroying the house with just a quick hand yesterday. That kind of terrifying power that can be called a miracle. It made Takashi Saya feel extremely terrified, especially thinking that Su Yi told himself before that he came from a different plane. Although she was interrupted later, she now firmly believes that what Su Yi said is true. Therefore, this also led to Takashi Saya, who didn't sleep well all night. Getting up from the bed, Takashi Saya felt her arms slightly numb. Looking at Ju Chuan Shizuka next to her, Takashiro Saya immediately understood the reason. I have to say that Ju Chuan Shizuka's strength really cannot be underestimated. After carefully pulling out her arm from Ju Chuan Shizuka's arms, Takashiro Saya changed into her own clothes and walked towards the balcony. As soon as he walked into the balcony, Gao Cheng Saya saw Su Yi standing there, looking at the scenery in the distance. Gao Cheng Saya did not hesitate, walked to Su Yi's side, and also leaned on the railing. Because this made Takashiro Saya feel a little more relaxed on her chest. Su Yi, are you up so early? Well, because I found some interesting things. Su Yi pouted in front of him. Following Su Yi's gaze, Takashiro Saya immediately looked into the distance. Immediately, Takashiro Saya's expression was full of disbelief. She covered her mouth as if she was frightened, and looked at the scene in front of her in disbelief. He even covered his mouth with his hands. I, I am not dreaming, is this scene in front of me real? Takashi Saya said in shock. She only saw countless zombies in the distance, moving quickly. They scrambled towards them. Those with a slow speed will be pressed down, and then continuously stacked up. In the end, like the waves of the sea, a zombie frenzy was set off. 
The zombies, which looked like monstrous waves, had already risen to a height of tens of meters. All the buildings standing in front of the zombies were easily crushed into ruins. And this scale is expanding crazily. If there is no accident, you will reach the bridgehead in at most ten minutes. Takashi Saya also reacted instantly. Su Yi, let's leave now. Run as far as you can. Su glanced at the zombie frenzy, and said calmly, you don't have to run, but you can go and wake them up now. Gao Chung Saya nodded vigorously. She didn't talk too much nonsense, and immediately returned to the room, waking up the girls from their sleep. The girls came to the balcony. They were all filled with shock as they looked at the monstrous frenzy of terror in front of them. Especially Rei Miyamoto. When she saw the scene in front of her, her body instantly became extremely limp. She subconsciously supported the railing next to her, and said in shock, what the hell is going on? Why did the zombies change in this way? I'm afraid they have been stacked to a height of more than 10 meters. The zombies more than 10 meters high moved forward like a wave. There are also a large number of zombies following behind. No matter how you look at it, the scene in front of you is very strange. It made the hearts of all the girls palpitate. In Su Yi's mind, he was even guessing whether he could subdue this wave and the world would become calm. After all, in Su Yi's impression, such a thing would never happen in the world of Apocalypse Academy. However, before that, Su Yi turned to look at the girls next to him, and said, Well, can you step back, the balcony is so big, you don't treat me like an outsider too much. As Su Yi's words fell, the faces of the girls blushed shyly. It can be regarded as dispelling the fear in their hearts. Seiko Busujima looked at Su Yi at this moment, and said to Su Yi, Su Yi, what are we going to do now? Ju Chuan Shizuka. How about we withdraw immediately, there is still an armored vehicle in my friend's garage. Alice, as long as we escape far enough, there should be no problem. As for CC, Yuki Asuna, and Yunohana Retsu, at this moment, they set their sights on Su Yi. Ujawali. Su Yi, it's your turn now. Yuki Asuna. It's time to show real technology. CC. Su Yi, I leave the rest to you. Su Yi, could it be that you plan to? Suddenly, a thought flashed in Seiko Busujima's mind. And the moment Seiko Busujima had this thought, Su Yi's figure disappeared from the sight of all the girls. Only a shadow was seen, appearing in the sun. A frenzy of zombies more than 10 meters high rushed towards Su Yi and the others at an extremely fast speed. Countless zombies roared and turned into a part of the giant wave, frantically moving forward one after another. On the bridge, there are still most of them, waiting in line to go to the, absolutely safe, field. But they didn't expect that they saw such a frightening scene before they passed. They watched the surging zombies sweep towards them like crazy. Immediately, I felt insignificant. As they came to their senses, they heard countless screams, echoing above the bridgehead. Let alone want to cross the bridge. Now they can't wait to turn around immediately and run towards the distance. Because staying here, there is only one dead word. Wherever the wave of zombies went, it was a mess. As long as there are no infected people, after being crushed by the wave of zombies, they will also become part of it. The army on the bridgehead felt cold when they saw the scene in front of them. Use all our firepower on them. Let them taste the power of our artillery fire. Yes, Captain. Follow the squad leader's order. They immediately took out a few RPG rocket missiles from the armored vehicle next to them. At the same time, the tanks that were originally suppressed on the bridgehead also turned their guns around at this time. Aim the muzzle in the direction of the zombie frenzy. Emission. Following the team leader's order, only the RPG rocket missile launcher was seen, and a lot of flames spewed out immediately. A straight line appeared in the air, roaring and shooting towards the frenzy of zombies. And the tanks continued to spit flames, falling on top of the zombie frenzy. However, these missile artillery fire fell on the zombie frenzy, and even a wave couldn't hit it. It was easily swallowed by the tumbling waves of zombies. Despair, unprecedented despair, obviously it is summer but everyone felt that they were wrapped in the Wanian ice cellar. Everything is off. After the team leader saw this scene, his heart sank completely. There are bullets in your pistols. As soldiers, we would rather die than become part of the zombies. Wait a minute, captain, look at the sky. Heaven. The captain frowned when he heard this. Subconsciously looked up to the sky. 
Only under the sun, a figure appeared under the sun. The captain and the others were all stunned. What is happening? Is that a human being? How can a human being fly in the sky? Or is it that we are simply dreaming, and the world has not collapsed at all? Above the sky, Su Yi stretched out his arm, and there was a small black ball in his palm. Su Yi also used this ability in the world of One Piece back then. However, this time Su Yi didn't summon the meteorite. Instead, he slowly stretched out his palm toward the sky. At this time, the small black ball continued to expand. In the blink of an eye, the small ball turned into the size of a basketball. This size should be enough. As Su Yi's words fell, only Su Yi's palm was seen slowly swipe downward. A black ball the size of a basketball slowly drifted downward from the air. The girls on the balcony. Looking at the scene in front of him, he felt a little speechless. Yao Cheng Saya was relatively better, she saw Su Yi's movements by chance last night. But Seiko Busujima and the others saw this scene for the first time. Su Yi, this is. Seiko Busushima opened her cherry lips slightly, looking at the scene in front of her in disbelief. Rei Miyamoto rubbed her eyes subconsciously, wanting to make sure that the figure in the air is really Su Yi. She really never thought that Su Yi could fly. Not to mention flying, you can also rub black balls with your hands. And at this time, Ju Chuan Shizuka who was next to him suddenly said, Ha, huh, is that Su Yi? When did Su Yi go up? CC, Yuki Asuna, Mao Zhawali, Poison Island Seiko. Regarding Ju Chuan Shizuka's natural dullness, everyone said that it was already normal. Just when they felt very speechless. At this moment, the black ball in the sky landed on top of the zombie frenzy. All of a sudden, everyone's field of vision seems to be only the black ball in the field of vision. The black ball keeps expanding. Become bigger and bigger. All zombies touched by the black ball were easily swallowed and turned into nothingness. Most of the roaring sounds of the zombies from the zombie frenzy disappeared in an instant. Everyone did not run away at this time. They stood in place, staring blankly at the scene in front of them, only feeling that their hearts were filled with unprecedented shock. What the hell is going on here? Those zombies disappeared out of thin air. That is to say, we don't want to run away. Can we survive? This guy is too powerful. The people below murmured. They only felt that the scene in front of them was the god who came down to save them. All the girls on the rooftop also looked at Uji Huliu and others at the side at this time. Seiko Busujima said to Yunohana Retsu next to him, Suyi has such an ability, does it mean that you also have similar abilities? This question of Seiko Busujima also attracted the attention of Rei Miyamoto, Saya Takashiro and others. All are listening. To this, Yuno Jawali's answer is, if this is the case, you will know it in the future. All know later. A puzzled expression appeared on Seiko Busujima's face once again. She had heard this sentence many times from Suyi and the others. But until now, she didn't know what it meant. And at this time, the electronic sound of the system sounded in the minds of Anahanaretsu and the others. Ding, the collapse of the Academy of Apocalypse has weakened, and all mission members can use more power in this world. As the words of the chat group fell, the girls looked at the zombie frenzy ahead. I only saw that most of the zombie frenzy had been shattered at this time. But Su Yi above the sky changed slightly. Because in the pothole created by the black ball, Su Yi saw a very familiar face. Yes, only faces. This face is none other than Koichi Wisteria. However, the current him seems to have undergone a terrifying transformation. The limbs that were originally severed by Suyi were stitched together to the zombie's body. It looks very mismatched, with no sense of coordination at all. And at this moment, another strange figure also appeared in Suyi's field of vision. This figure was none other than Takashi Kimuro who had escaped before. It's just that Takashi Kimuro is not what he was before. His face became very pale. Just like those zombies. But there is no wound on the body. Instead, he held a zombie arm in his hand, gnawing on it constantly. It seems that it is decided to be delicious. Seeing this, Suyi almost vomited. Kimuro Takashi's eyes at this time became very blood red. He didn't care about the rays of the sun just looked at Suyi above the sky, and said loudly, I never thought that we would meet again in this way. Yeah, we meet again. Suyi's figure slowly moved towards Xiaoxixiao. 
However, in the end, at a distance of about three meters from the ground, he looked down at Takashi Kimuro in front of him. Seeing Su Yi falling from the sky, Kimuro ate the zombie in his hand in a few mouthfuls, and then patted Wisteria Koichi next to him in satisfaction. At the same time, he said to Su Yi in front of him, Do you still remember him? How about it? I have remodeled him well, so that he can survive your attack and be safe, isn't it very powerful? On Kimuro Takashi's face, a very penetrating smile cracked. Especially when the teeth are exposed, they are all dark and mixed with blood, which is as disgusting as it is disgusting. Su Yi casually glanced at Koichi Koichi Kimuro, who was transformed into a super zombie by Takashi Kimuro, and said to Takashi Kimuro, compared to this trash, I'm more curious about how you became like this. Takashi Kimuro seems to have heard the funniest words. After Su Yi's words fell, he immediately laughed out loud, of course it's because of you. Ha 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 ha. Speaking of which, I still have to thank you very much. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have run away directly, and I wouldn't have tasted the deliciousness of zombies. Did you know, when I was about to starve to death and was bitten by a zombie, I bit the zombie first. At that time, I felt that there was something extra in my body. I bet I'm definitely the first person in the world to do this because I can now control zombies all over the world, ha 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 ha. I'm the king of zombies. So, in order to thank you for the opportunity you gave me, I decided to make you my subordinate and make you bow down to me forever. Of course, I will not let go of any of those women. After Xiao Xiao finished these words, Su Yi nodded slightly, no wonder it becomes so disgusting, so it's a loss of humanity. I'm no longer the brat who could be frightened by your eyes. Now let you feel my strength. Takashi Kimuro looked like he was insane. He suddenly pointed forward at this moment. Koichi Koichi Kimuro, who had been transformed by Takashi Kimuro, rushed towards Suyi in the sky. At the same time, Kimuro Takashi also shouted at this time, because I am already invincible. As if to verify Takashi Kimuro's words, Koichi Wisteria flew towards Suyi who was in the air. The strength and flexibility of bouncing are not comparable to ordinary zombies at all. The speed is fast, even faster than the RPG rocket missile just now. In the blink of an eye, he came in front of Su Yi. However, Su Yi didn't want to talk to this guy at all. Now, the boss has jumped out, and he also knows why this guy has become so strong. At this point, the most important thing is of course to kill Takashi Kimuro. Then, you can invite Seiko Busujima to join the chat group. Unlock new functions and lead the members to become more powerful. Thinking of this, Su Yi's body glowed with golden lines. The lines spread continuously on Su Yi's body. In just a second, Su Yi's body was completely covered with golden lines. The holy deity formed an extremely strong contrast with Koichi Wisteria in front of him. The magnetic field on Su Yi's body activated. A powerful impact was formed directly in front of him. Only Su Yi's arm was seen, swinging to the side. The huge force hit Koichi Wisteria directly. Bang! Only Koichi Wisteria was seen rushing towards the ground at a faster speed than when he came. Facing the zombies, Su Yi expressed that he did not want to touch them at all. Takashi Kimuro's face changed slightly. He didn't expect that Su Yi's aura in front of him would improve so quickly in such a short period of time. But, so what, don't underestimate me, Kimuro roared angrily, only seeing the zombies around him, they rushed towards Kimuro in an instant. And the nearby zombies are all rushing towards Kimuro Shao. He only saw Kimuro Takashi's arm, grabbing towards Suyi suddenly. Behind Kimuro Takashi, there are countless zombies, grabbing each other and rising from the ground. Countless zombies turned into huge palms, and accompanied by Takashi Kimuro's arrogant laughter, they grabbed Su Yi. This is the strongest power. I am the king of this world. No one will dare to stand in front of me in the future. Accompanied by Takashi Kimuro's roar, Su Yi's eyes did not move at all. I just feel Shaoshi Shao in front of me is very noisy. At this time, the field of magnetic force was brought to the extreme by Su Yi. Everything within Su Yi's field of vision. It seemed that at this moment, the pause button was pressed. The zombie's claw stopped about three meters in front of Su Yi. Inverse, Su Yi spit out lightly. The field works. Only the claws of the zombies were seen, and they turned back directly to the rear. 
It fell heavily on Takashi Kimuro. Takashi Kimuro's pupils suddenly shrank. He never imagined why Suyi was able to forcibly control all these zombies, which were clearly controlled by him. In the next second, Takashi Kimuro was swallowed by the claws of the zombies. The darkness completely enveloped Takashi Kimuro. A powerful force pressed on Kimuro Takashi's body, directly crushing Kimuro Takashi into powder. In an instant, the zombies that formed the claws of the zombies fell from the sky. All the zombies are like a group of dragons without a leader, and they have turned into waste like before. At this time, the girls also came not far from the battlefield. Yao Cheng Saya looked at the miraculous scene in front of him, and couldn't help murmuring, is everything over? Miyamoto Rei, maybe everything is over. Seiko Busujima came to Rei Miyamoto and said, aren't you sad? Miyamoto Rei, I don't know either, but if I were given a chance to choose again, I would definitely not know Takashi Kimuro, because his heart is too dark. Kimuro Takashi's voice was so loud before, and Miyamoto Rei and others who just came over heard him. Therefore, regarding Kimuro Takashi's death, they didn't feel the slightest disturbance in their hearts. And as Rei Miyamoto's voice fell, only a burst of wild laughter suddenly came from among the zombies, ha 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 ha, it really hurts. This is the first time I am in such pain. But it doesn't matter, because I am immortal. Because I won't die, ha 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 ha. Accompanied by Kimuro Takashi's voice, it came out from the pile of zombies. The hearts of the girls were shocked. How can you fight like this? Just when they were astonished. All I saw was a pile of zombies, which suddenly spread around. Kimuro Takashi's figure once again caught everyone's eyes. Only Takashi Kimuro, who had just been resurrected, stood up slowly with endless arrogance on his face. Didn't I say it before? I'm already invincible. So, do you really think that with your abilities, you can kill me? Kimuro Takashi's face was full of arrogance. He immediately set his greedy eyes on the people in front of him. Just wait, I will turn you into zombies one by one, and then become my permanent subordinates. When Kimuro Takashi was speaking, those zombies had already stood up one by one, surrounding Kimuro Takashi. All I saw was Kimuro Takashi opened his mouth in front of everyone. He performed a wave very seriously, what is a gluttonous feast? That scene can be said to be as disgusting as it needs to be. Seiko Busujima next to her subconsciously covered Alice's eyes at this moment. Looking at the shocked expressions of everyone in front of him, Kimuro Takashi felt incomparable enjoyment in his heart. Zombie humanity, Takashi Kimuro, whose mind is full of desires, looks very satisfied with everyone. He said to everyone while eating, do you know, as long as there is one more zombie in the world, my strength will increase by one point, and every time a zombie dies, my strength will increase by 10. If I eat a zombie, my strength will increase by percent. At that time, as long as I keep some human beings in captivity, I will be able to keep getting stronger. So, I will let you feel the despair I felt at the beginning. As Kimuro Takashi's voice fell, he could only see the zombies around him, all rolling towards the girls. Kimuro Takashi continued to devour other zombies at a faster speed. Takashi Saya's face changed drastically at this time. Known as a genius, she instantly sensed the bug in Kimuro's ability. If it's really like this, we won't be able to kill these zombies at all. Otherwise, Su Yi will definitely not be able to win. Rei Miyamoto's face was extremely pale at this time, how is it possible? There is such a disgusting ability in this world. Seiko Busujima. Maybe this is the malice of the world. However, just when Seiko Busujima and her daughter felt very difficult. You know Hannah and the others stood in front of Seiko Busushima and the others. I only saw Uji Huliu slowly pulling out the sharp blade at his waist. The sharp blade gleamed coldly, reflecting the incomparably beautiful cheeks of Yunohana Retsu. You stand behind us, the current situation is not what you are able to deal with now. Seeing this, Takashiro Saya asked, are you going to attack? But wouldn't that make Kimuro Takashi stronger? Miyamoto Rei also said at this time, wouldn't it make Suyi's battle situation more difficult? At this time, Whitebeard's words came from behind the girls, don't worry, because this man is called Su Yi, so he will never fail. Whitebeard, where have you been? Why are you here now? Whitebeard laughed loudly. Gu la 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 la, 
I found a lot of fine wine in the convenience store yesterday, and my ability is limited, so I just woke up now. While speaking, Whitebeard came to the forefront, standing on the united front with Yuno Zhuaretsu and others. The momentum on them is constantly rising. Come on, let's fight happily. As Whitebeard's voice fell, only the hands of Whitebeard, including Kong Yunchi, were covered with jet black domineering colors like ink. Because the restrictions have been lifted for some reasons, Whitebeard can now use the armed color domineering. It more than doubled Whitebeard's fighting power. Ujawaliu also used Shiji, turning the Zanpakuto into a meat Shizuku and rushing towards the zombies, protecting Takashiro Saya and others behind him. CC and Yuki Asuna displayed their peak strength as great swordsmen. Every time a slash is made, there is a surge of sword energy in the air. In an instant, countless zombies turned into corpses. When Seiko Busujima and the girls saw the scene in front of them, they felt extremely shocked in their hearts. They didn't expect that it wasn't just Suyi who was powerful. Even Suyi's companion's strength is so exaggerated. Seeing the scene in front of her, Seiko Busujima slowly pulled out her own wooden sword. Although the mobility of the zombies has increased sharply now, Seiko Busujima can't hold back at this moment, the flames of fighting in her heart are burning. Accompanied by Seiko Busujima, he rushed out and joined the killing army. Takashi Kimuro laughed thoroughly, I feel it. I feel a lot of power springing up in my body. Ha 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 ha, it's really cool. I am now, you absolutely cannot kill me. Takashi Kimuro had a serious expression on his face. I only saw him stepping out with one step, and his figure disappeared on the spot. When Takashi Kimuro's figure reappeared, he was already behind Suyi. The fist raised high, and then slammed towards Suyi's head. The air seemed to be blasted by Takashi Kimuro. Bang! Following Kimuro Takashi's punch, only Kimuro Takashi's arm directly passed through Suyi's head. A look of joy appeared on Kimuro Takashi's face. But in the next moment, Kimuro Takashi's expression changed. Because he suddenly realized that his hitting was not right. Before Kimuro Takashi could react, he only saw Suyi in front of Kimuro Takashi, and suddenly turned into a phantom and disappeared in front of him. At the same time, Suyi's voice sounded behind Takashi Kimuro, you are too weak. After Xiao Shishao heard Suyi's cold voice, he only felt a chill in his body. If Takashi Kimuro is a child with a kitchen knife in his hand, then Suyi is like an adult, holding Gatling with blue flames in his hands, and thousands of nuclear bombs behind him. The two are not of the same magnitude at all. But Takashi Kimuro didn't know the gap between himself and Suyi at all. I only heard Kimuro Takashi mockingly said, I am already invincible, even if you can kill me, I can continue to be resurrected, ha 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 ha. Did you know, the last person who claimed to be invincible has lost the ability to think. And in my eyes, you are like a frog in a well. Speaking of this, the corners of Su Yi's mouth turned up. Xiao Shi Xiao, do you have any last words to say? Takashi Kimuro, do you have any last words to say? Su Yi's cold voice came from behind Xiao Shi Xiao. Kimuro grinned, I said, don't underestimate me. I saw that Xiao Shi Xiao's back suddenly bulged two meat buns. Bang bang. As the meat bag burst, two extremely disgusting arms appeared behind Takashi Kimuro. This zombie-like arm, under Takashi Kimuro's control, grabbed Suyi's chest directly. It's just a trick of the black tiger digging out his heart. It's just that, in the supreme doomsday awakening I state, Takashi Kimuro has no way to contact himself at all. When the palm was about 10 centimeters away from Suyi, Suyi's figure disappeared. At this moment, Suyi, who was exuding golden light all over his body, came in front of Xiao Shishao. All I saw was a playful smile on Su Yi's face. Let me take you to space for a walk, the invincible Takashi Kimuro. Su Yi reread the word, invincible. It can be said that this is completely ridiculed by Kai Guago. Following Su Yi's words, Su Yi directly changed Xiaomuro's strength. Takashi Kimuro only felt that he was rejected by the earth. Fly towards the sky at an extremely fast speed. It's getting faster. The flames burned violently on Takashi Kimuro's body. The extremely hot flame burned Kimuro Takashi until he cried out in pain. The miserable cry pierced the sky, and it sounded very ear-piercing. The speed gradually increases. In the end, Takashi Kimuro was bounced into outer space by Mother Earth. 
All I saw was that the flame on Takashi Kimuro's body was gradually extinguished. Biting cold gradually enveloped Takashi Kimuro. Go back. I want to go back. I'm going to be my king of the earth. I don't want to roam in space. Takashi Kimuro panicked and wanted to fly towards the earth as much as possible, but he couldn't do it without the ability to fly. On the contrary, he is now farther and farther away from the earth. Cold to the bone, Takashi Kimuro wanted to stretch out his arm, but found that his arm had completely melted into ice crystals at this moment, and he couldn't stretch it out at all. Gradually, these ice crystals wrapped Takashi Kimuro's body, and gradually drifted toward the distant depths of space. Eventually, Takashi Kimuro lost the ability to think. With Kimuro Takashi lost the ability to think. The zombies on the earth have returned to their stupid appearance. When Suyi saw the scene in front of him, he knew that this so-called invincible had followed in the footsteps of the previous invincible. Just wait until the zombies on the earth are all eliminated. Takashi Kimuro will also truly die. After all, Takashi Kimuro's ability seems to be powerful, but in fact there are too many restrictions. At this time, the survivors on the ground looked at the scene in front of them and felt that the scene in front of them was really a miracle. As that guy defeated, this is really a miraculous existence. This light is like the sun, which makes people feel warm. At this time, the zombies in front of the girls have been almost cleaned up by many members. A familiar electronic voice came from the chat group. Ding, congratulations to group leader Suyi, Whitebeard, CC, Yuki Asuna, and you know Hannah Lai for completing the task and earning points reward, 5000. Ding, the world of the Academy of the Apocalypse, in order to stabilize, officially invites number 9 member Seiko Busujima. Ding, Seiko Busujima entered the chat group. A series of electronic sounds from the chat group sounded. The chat group exploded instantly. Su Yi, welcome, let me introduce myself, I am Su Yi, the leader of this group. Ujawali, I am Ujawali, you know me. Whitebeard. Giu la 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 la, it's really not easy to let you in. Yuki Asuna. Let me reintroduce, I am the poorest Yuki Asuna in this group. CC. I am forever. Edward Elric. Welcome, newcomer, you are finally here. Ha 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 ha. Estes. Welcome, Hanada Hanada. Welcome Sister Seiko, please give me more advice in the future. Seiko Busujima suddenly stood where she was, she just felt a little weird now. Just now she just clicked, agree, subconsciously. Why are there so many voices in my head suddenly? Most importantly, she is very familiar with some of the names. Suyi, CC, Yuki Asuna, Whitebeard, Anahanaretsu. Isn't this the people standing in front of her? Thinking of what Suyi and the others told themselves, they said that they would know in the future. Was it for this reason? At this moment, Suyi and the others came in front of Seiko Busujima. Bujima Seiko, you are welcome to join us, we will be a family from today on. Suyi cancelled his awakening state, and said to Seiko Busujima in front of him. For some reason, when Seiko Busujima saw the scene in front of her, her heart trembled suddenly. Tears flowed from the eyes immediately unstoppable. Until this time, she finally understood. I understand why Suyi cares so much about himself. I understand why Ujawali and others are willing to protect themselves. Understand the feeling of helping each other among chat group members. Most importantly, in this chat group, she felt that she was no longer that special existence. Instead, there is a kind of warmth called home, which is wrapping Seiko Busujima. For a while, Seiko Busujima became more emotional. He only saw Seiko Busujima rushing directly towards Suyi's arms at this moment. Time seemed to freeze at this moment. And in the chat group, because the ninth person Seiko Busujima joined, the electronic voice sounded again. Ding, unlock function, sign in function, activity function. Sign in function, you can sign in every day, and you can get a certain amount of points. If you sign in for 30 days, you will get a random ability boost. Event function. The chat group will hold play activities from time to time. After completing the tasks according to the rules, you can get event rewards. Ding, the current level of the chat group. 3. After reaching 10 members in the group, you can upgrade to level 4 and unlock more functions. Edward Elric. Great, I've had so much going on here, and now I can finally get stronger. Estes. 
as long as there is this sign in function, I feel that we can all continue to grow stronger. Estes, how about when we conquer other worlds? Whitebeard, gu la 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 la, I don't think there is any problem at all. Then I can go to other worlds to adopt my son. Edward Elric, by the way, old man with a white beard, I remember your name, it seems to be Edward Newgate. Whitebeard, that's right, boy Elric, are you going to recognize me as your father? Gu la 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 la. Seeing the news about Whitebeard, Edward Elric was stunned for a moment. Edward Elric was stunned for a moment. He grew up in the countryside. Was brought up by his own mother. As for his own father, in his impression, there was nothing good at all. On the contrary, in his mind, there are all images of his father's irresponsibility. Compared to Whitebeard, who can devote all his combat power to his son. In Edward Elric's view, there is no comparison at all. In the chat group, Edward Elric, really, really, Whitebeard, gu la 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 la, as long as you are willing, you will be my son from today on. Edward Elric didn't hesitate, he said directly in the chat group, Dad. Academy of Apocalypse in reality. When Whitebeard saw Edward Elric's words, he couldn't help laughing immediately. Su Yi, Seiko Busujima and the others naturally saw the news in the chat group and knew what happened. But Miyamoto Rei, Takashiro Saya, Ju Chuan Shizuka and others don't know. They stared blankly at the laughing Whitebeard beside them, a little confused. I only heard Whitebeard say to Su Yi, Su Yi, let's celebrate today. We brought back a lot of good things yesterday, and we haven't finished eating them yet. The current Whitebeard is more than two meters tall. Whitebeard had never felt this feeling of being the right height. As the group leader, Su Yi naturally agreed. Moreover, he still has some things to arrange. In a villa that was completely deserted. The height of the living room alone is an astonishing six meters. A lantern hangs from the ceiling. Like a crystal clear diamond, exuding a bright light. Only Su Yi and the others were seen sitting on the sofa in the living room. In front of them, there was a big pot, surrounded by all kinds of meat slices, meatballs, drinks, snacks and other messy things to eat. When they came to the villa, they took it from the convenience store nearby. Even a few of them completely moved out the convenience store's inventory. Everyone sat around and began to enjoy the delicious hot pot in front of them. And Su Yi sat next to Seiko Busujima, and said to Seiko Busujima, Seiko, although Takashi Kimuro has been defeated, the world has fallen into chaos, and there are still a lot of zombies. Do you have any plans for the future? Seiko Busushima looked at the boiling hot pot in front of her, and fell into thinking. For about one minute, Seiko Busujima said to Su Yi, maybe, I will take them and find a place in the countryside, where they can cultivate and establish a new social order. The words of Seiko Busujima immediately attracted the attention of Saya Takashiro and others. Su Yi, do you want to join us too? Su Yi shook his head, no, we all have our own places to go, only when you are in danger, we will come to protect you. Hearing Su Yi's words, for some reason, Takashiro Saya's mood became a little depressed. Su Yi didn't care about Saya Takashiro's emotions, but said to Seiko Busujima next to him, actually, I think so too. As far as the world is now in chaos, a new order can be re-established. As one of our members, you can become the king of this world. Become the king of this world, Seiko Busujima repeated subconsciously. Yes, control all the resources on this earth. Then become the king of this world, Su Yi said to Seiko Busujima very seriously. He's not kidding at all. Rather, it is very serious, because it contains Su Yi's own thoughts. Of course, Su Yi respected Seiko Busujima's idea. If Seiko Busujima is willing, he will be very supportive. Seiko Busushima was very moved when she heard Su Yi's words. Her personality is the type equivalent to a strong woman. If she can rely on her own hands and continue to fight for her own world, then she will definitely feel very proud. It's just that, can we really do it with just us? Today's Seiko Busushima is at most a beginner swordsman, not even a master swordsman. No problem when facing zombies. But when facing those with weapons, it is very likely that Busujima Seiko herself was injured. Regarding this, Su Yi looked at Saya Gaochung next to him. Saya Takashiro, you have always said that you are a genius, no matter what kind of knowledge, as long as you are willing, you can quickly master it, right? 
Gao Chang Saya's eyes lit up immediately after hearing Su Yi's words. She nodded quickly. Well, I'm still very confident about my brain. No matter what knowledge, as long as I want, I can definitely master it in a very short period of time. After being confirmed by Takashi Saya, the corners of Su Yi's mouth rose slightly, then, I will send you a few sets of steel suits and various blueprints that I own, and I will leave the research and development of the equipment to you when the time comes. Takashi Saya's eyes lit up. There are also various design drawings for the steel suit, this is a task for me. In other words, does Su Yi in front of him already believe in himself? Then, will I have more opportunities to meet Su Yi in the future? Thinking of this, Gao Chung Saya nodded, patted his chest and assured him, Don't worry, Su Yi, I will never let you down. After receiving the confirmation from Saya Takashiro, a smile appeared on Su Yi's face. After he came to the world of the School of Apocalypse, I just want to take this world completely into my own hands. Turn this world into their back garden, as the rear of the chat group. And that's just the first step. Dash, Marvel World. Stark Industries Building. Tony Stark is working on the Rubik's Cube. He is trying how to thoroughly guide the power of the Rubik's Cube in the universe. After Wolverine got his salary today, he took a day off and went out to have fun. Anyway, it's the first day, and Wolverine's ability is not yet available. Jarvis, you have been detecting the fluctuations of the Rubik's Cube all the time, and recorded the fluctuation data, which are all useful to me. Tony Stark said to Jarvis. Artificial Intelligence Jarvis, at this time, said to Tony Stark, Okay sir, I am recording the energy fluctuation of the Space Gem. Tony Stark nodded slightly, and then started his work. However, at this moment, the Cosmic Rubik's Cube suddenly changed slightly. The sudden change shocked Tony Stark. Sir, the energy of the Cosmic Rubik's Cube is constantly rising. Sir, the energy emitted by the Cosmic Rubik's Cube has broken through the limiter limit. Sir, please move away from the Cosmic Rubik's Cube quickly. It has been detected that the energy of the Cosmic Rubik's Cube is constantly condensing, and it is expected that there will be energy release. Stark Industries In Tony Stark's office, the Cosmic Rubik's Cube is constantly rippling with faint blue light. This is a state of catharsis of energy. Tony Stark's face changed suddenly when he saw the scene in front of him. Jarvis, dress. Before Tony Stark could finish speaking, terrifying energy surged out of the cosmic Rubik's Cube. The energy instantly broke through the energy limiter and spread out towards the surroundings. Not to mention Tony Stark, even tables, chairs, and various equipment were bumped into the wall under this energy. Tony Stark cursed angrily. He only felt that his body was hit by a heavy hammer very hard. The intense pain made Tony Stark gasp continuously. Gritting his teeth tightly, Tony Stark braced his body and climbed up from the ground. And at this moment, the energy of the cosmic Rubik's Cube suddenly gathered into a beam of light, which was shot forward. The light constantly ripples through the space. A deep blue round door appeared in the room. As a figure walked out of the round door, Tony Stark's pupils shrank suddenly. He stared blankly at the figure in front of him, feeling as if he was hallucinating. Loki, Tony Stark subconsciously called out Loki's name. Loki, holding the scepter, heard someone calling his name, followed the direction of the voice, and set his gaze on Tony Stark and the steel suits around him. A look of extreme resentment flashed across Loki's eyes. Immediately afterwards, what happened before flashed through his mind like a kaleidoscope. Thinking of how he was beaten into such a mess back then, Loki's heart was filled with unprecedented hatred. If it wasn't for his ability, I'm afraid he would have been completely cold. Not to mention meeting Purple Potato's father later, getting the spiritual scepter from him and coming here for revenge. The main purpose of his coming to Earth this time is to wash away his previous shame. He wanted to defeat that guy before, and let him know how terrible the fate of offending him would be. Thinking of this, Loki had a smile on his face. I remember you, you are the one who came to stop us before, if it wasn't for you, I would have succeeded by now, and even became the king of Asgard. So, I'll start with you first. With an unprecedented, nuclear, smile on Loki's face, he strode towards Tony Stark. I only saw the spiritual scepter in Loki's hand, which was emitting a slight light at this time. Loki looked proudly at Tony Stark in front of him, and said to Tony Stark, just let you be my first subordinate. 
As Loki's words fell, the radiant spiritual scepter touched Tony Stark's chest. Clang. The spiritual scepter was on Tony Stark's chest, only to hear a very crisp sound. But Tony Stark hasn't changed a bit. He is not controlled by the spiritual scepter. On the contrary, he wondered why Loki did this, and at the same time, he was thinking crazily about how to break the current situation. Loki, who didn't believe in evil, tapped Tony Stark's chest a few more times at this time. Apart from the crisp sound, Tony Stark didn't change at all. What exactly is going on? Rocky originally wanted to get some information about Su Yi after controlling Tony Stark, but the current situation made Rocky a little confused. Seeing this, Tony Stark immediately pressed a button next to him. At the same time, shouted at Jarvis, Jarvis, put on the battle suit. Yes, sir. Jarvis' voice sounded in the room. Suddenly, Loki in front of him was alarmed. Loki's face suddenly changed. The scepter in the palm hit Tony Stark directly. Bang. Loki has divine power. Under the blessing of divine power, Loki smashed Tony Stark's body against the wall again. Then, it fell heavily to the ground. Tony Stark, who is just an ordinary person, has no way to compete with Loki in front of him. There was a sneer on Loki's face, I want to play tricks in front of me. However, before Loki could finish speaking, he heard roars coming from behind Loki. Loki frowned, subconsciously looking back. Boom, only a dull voice was heard. A part of the steel suit fell on Loki's face. If Loki hadn't subconsciously used divine power to protect his face, he might have been knocked down to the ground by the impact of the steel suit. The entire room is under the control of artificial intelligence Jarvis. With the help of Jarvis, the steel suit locked onto Tony Stark's body and kept attaching to Tony Stark's body. In the blink of an eye, Tony Stark's body was wrapped in a steel suit. Loki, don't underestimate us humans. Tony Stark, who was wearing a steel suit, had a serious expression on his face. Flame spit. The figure of Tony Stark, relying on the dexterity of the steel suit, kept moving in the room. At the same time, both of his palms were aimed at Loki in front of him. The light continuously condensed in the palm of Tony Stark. With Jarvis's assisted aiming, Tony Stark was basically able to shoot without missing a beat. In the next second, the palm cannon fired. Only two beams were seen, shooting towards Loki. The speed is astonishing. In the blink of an eye, he was in front of Loki. Loki's expression froze for an instant, and a frightened look flickered in his pupils. Just when Tony Stark thought that the palm cannon hit Loki 100%, he heard Loki's words suddenly ringing in his ears. I explain that it is because you underestimate the gods too much. As Loki's voice fell, Tony Stark's face changed suddenly. I only saw the figure of Loki in front of me, and it became extremely illusory. The palm cannon easily penetrated the phantom and landed on the ground. The blazing rays caused the ground to appear pitch black and scorched. Before Tony Stark could react, Loki's scepter wrapped his divine power and hit Tony Stark heavily. The powerful divine power mixed with Loki's decent power caused Tony Stark's steel suit to suffer a lot of damage. The strength dissipated, Tony Stark groaned in pain in his battle suit, and fell heavily to the ground. Sir, the damage to the chest of the armor is 67%. Tony Stark's heart sank when he heard Jarvis's voice. Before waiting for Tony Stark, he got up from the ground. Loki stepped on Tony Stark's body with his own foot, I tell you, I'm here for revenge this time. I'm not here to play tricks. So please die first. As Loki's words fell, only Loki raised the spiritual scepter in his hand, and the scepter drew an arc in the air, falling towards Tony Stark. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.